have a seat right over here. I have a lot of things to talk about, and I want to talk to somebody I can fucking talk to and trust, and you seem like the guy. Can you just talk to me? I'm going to have one of my investigators come in and talk to you, Clifford. All right. They're, they're all very reasonable people. No, they're not reasonable here. Well, my, my invest, the investigator that comes in and talks to you, I assure you he's going to be reasonable. I'm going to take the cup off your left hand. Yes, sir. I love my daughters. I haven't seen them in fucking eight months because of two court orders. And you know it's Christmas time. When is the fucking man I snapped? Okay, quick, I'm going to switch this around with it. Why didn't you guys just fucking put a bullet in my head? I told you. You wanted to. Look, we don't want to hurt anybody. I don't want to either. Do you understand what a man goes through, officer? Just look straight in your hand. I spend two hundred and fifty dollars a week on child support and couldn't see my kids because she lonely. Her and Teddy Back has put a court order against me. Today, family court calls my lawyer and says there's a warrant out for my arrest for missing two payments in the middle of the winter. I have nothing to live for. I'm living in a one-room of fucking apartment. She took everything from me, on me, sir. Stick your hand back up. No, my best doesn't lock up on you. I want to say something to you, too. I love that woman, and I love my kids with all my heart, and I haven't seen her. And she fucking took everything from me. Okay. Let's see where we are, Cooper. You guys, I have keys on me. You want the keys and all that shit? Because I want my kids to get that car out there. Absolutely. I don't have nothing on you guys. You want me to strip down? No. Look what you got to bear with me. I have my glasses on, all right? I know my rights and everything. You don't have to even read it. Just give me my charges. I'm pleading not guilty and I want to be put in a cell. Okay. You have the right to remain silent and refuse to answer any questions. If you do say it can be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to stop answering questions at any time you desire. You have the right to talk to a lawyer to remain silent until you can talk right. to him. You don't have to read me, I know my rights. Right, him so. present when you're getting questioned. I just have to read these two, okay? If you desire a lawyer but cannot afford one, one will provide it to you without cost. You can decide any time to exercise these rights and not answer any questions or make any statements. You understand those? So yes, sir. All right. You want to sign your name right there for me? I ain't signing my name to nothing. Okay. Come on. Do you understand it, though? Absolutely. All right. I'm not a disrespectful guy, either. Okay. Do you know the fucking Bacchus brothers who they are? I know them, yeah. They fucking started all this. Yeah. And their fucking brother, brother Teddy. And they're lucky I'm in my right fucking mind, because I deal with AK-47s and fucking AR-15s. Mm -hmm. well, what I'm going to tell you what happened. My ex-wife put a court order against me. Teddy Backus went over in the house and shot the fucking house up with a gun and got all misdemeanors because you cocksuckers are corrupt in Warren County. And you know you are. It was an apartment complex with kids in it. An unregistered illegal handgun and it gets all misdemeanors. That's what I want to do to her face. Right up with a fucking knife. She took my kids away from me, everything I fucking have today. I get a fucking call from my lawyer saying they're coming with a warrant for my arrest for missing two child support payments. I stayed away. I haven't seen my kids in eight months. It's fucking mm -hmm. Christmas. I am the fucking devil. Where's your kids now? They're home. I don't know where the fuck they are. I haven't seen them in eight months. When this broad can do this on Christmas, fuck me in the ass like this, and when's my last straw, I'd rather live in prison. Hey, what's up? <clears throat> Do you know when a woman snaps you and keeps your kids away from you? What it does to a man? That you work and pay for your kids your whole fucking life? Then the Bacchus brothers rig the charges when the fucking guy goes over and shoots my old lady's house up and beats the fuck out of her and he gets misdemeanors, you cocksuckers? Fuck you, motherfucker! You know what happened up there. All misdemeanors, nine of them, when he shot the house up with an unregistered handgun. Do you know who Teddy Backus is? I know you know who he is. He's a fucking retard. If I ever could get my hands on him, I'd fucking kill him. 
I'm a fucking man in every aspect, motherfucker. The fucking game. I gotta reframe myself because I'm really, I can't even take it no more. Okay. You know what happened today? Family court calls my lawyer up saying they're fucking taking my kids and put me in jail and I did nothing but pay it, you guys. And this guy shoots the house up with a loaded handgun, gets all misdemeanors. Do you, it was an apartment complex. You know Governor Cuomo's gun laws? It was an unregistered handgun. Every gun, every bullet in the fucking chamber of the gun was a felony. Going in the apartment complex was a felony and dislodging the handgun. He got nine fucking misdemeanors because of his brother. Beat my old lady, I put her in the fucking hospital. My kid was home. Let me shoot the fucking motherfucker. Get him in here and put me in a room with both my beat the fuck out of him. He ran like a coward and a snake and his brothers are two pieces of shit. Okay. I have no idea what you're really referring You know what I'm fucking referring to. 69 Route N. Okay. December of last year. You're filling me in right now. So I'm filling you in. I wasn't there that night, so I don't know. He's warned there. Nobody did nothing to him. Okay. Nobody did nothing. But me, two court orders against me and haven't seen my kids since last fucking year. The fucking nigger. He disappeared from the town because I've been going up there the last few days. I was going to got him. Teddy Bacchus. You can tell him I said it. Don't ever let me out of jail again. Because I'll kill him. I love my children. Right here, motherfucker. Irish. And you cocksuckers are Irish. And you let this motherfucker walk. We didn't let him do anything. But his brothers did. Okay. When I came home from family court, when she had me arrested on a fucking violation, the cop in the car said he was brand new and he knew the charges were Trump, but he didn't open his fucking mouth. You know what it is. I love the broad. She took everything from me. My lawyer called me today and said I'm going to jail for a violation of not paying child support. Paid his cunt 250 a fucking week. I lost everything. My fucking business, all my vehicles, and my fucking house. I'm whittled up to a $600 apartment while this cunt runs around my fucking money. My kids... I talked to my daughter two days ago for the first time, called you cocksuckers, and said the fucking bitch is over there drunk. The kid was afraid to go to fuck home. They were going to do something, they never do nothing to the fucking bitch. They go there and she's intoxicated with the fucking minors in the house and he's doing nothing. What the fuck is your fucking problem? I don't know who went there. I mean, you're, you're classified as all as one group. I don't know who went there. I don't know who's handling You know what? Answer. You got to admit, brother. Say what you want. We're off the fucking record because I ain't signing nothing. Okay. The Bacchus brothers rigged his charges, and this is what I heard because I know everybody in the town. Okay. The, the man that built the fucking town hall told me he was going to lose his gun fucking, his hunting license, so they didn't give him felonies. You did that shit down in Albany, you still wouldn't be out of jail today. They would have fucked you up. This is the Wild West, man, and I'm a wild motherfucker, ain't I now? You would have loved to have a motherfucker like me in Iraq, wouldn't you? I got them fucking tile heads. I love this country, and it fucking did me wrong. Fucking wrong! How old are you? 36. 36. I'm 46, brother. My life's over. Well, I, I hate to, for you to feel that way. Not, I couldn't take it no more. When my baby calls up crying to me, and I can't fucking go see him because the two fucking court orders that I never fucking did nothing. How old are your kids? Fucking 15 and 16. The kid shot the fucking house up this back of the sky, and I couldn't go do nothing for my little babies. I feel helpless, and this drunken fucking stripper I married don't even give a fuck. What? Your, that's your ex? It's my fucking ex. I ain't even divorced. She took everything from me in the courts, and I sat there doing nothing because of my babies, man. How long were you married? I was married for 15 fucking years and she got off on this fucking shit. She ruined my life and I kept taking it and taking it and taking it, you guys. What am I supposed to do with my brother? Because I'm Irish, I am your fucking brother, man. I'd have your back all the fucking, fucking way in Iraq. I know. I hate fucking tile heads. You're a very passionate man, I see that. Listen... I fucking woke up tonight. And I got a call from this cut over here in family court saying he put me in jail on a violation because I missed two fucking payments.
They didn't cut you a break. <laughs> How long have you been paying? You missed two. There's a warrant out for my arrest right now. I can't even go out of my house. Numbers. I paid the payments. I went in front of two judges. They fucked the paperwork. Next thing you know, I get a letter saying they're suspending my license, and I get paid. I called the lady up. She hung up on me. What's your first name? Clifford. Clifford? You go by Cliff or Clifford? My real name is Clifford. I go by Cliff, sir. All right, Cliff. I have no idea what I go in the fucking house, and she fucking tells me she loves me after she's fucked ten guys in the last two years. I don't see nobody. I don't go out. I work and pay my child support. I lost my apartment. It's wintertime. I'm a professional tree climber. I own my own business. They took everything from me, these motherfuckers. Listen, New York's so fucking corrupt, it ain't even fucking funny. You guys know it. I couldn't stop myself. I got up today. I called my sister up. My sister says, I've been seeing your kids behind your back. And she hates my wife. And she went there and fucking, I don't even know what's going on anymore. I couldn't even say goodbye. I haven't seen my daughters in eight months. You guys know when you're little girls, you pay for them. You go to work every fucking day for them. And every time wants to be drunk, my wife's a full-blown stripper. Three years ago, her daughter died. She went in the bottle. I begged her to go to council. The next thing I noticed, Teddy Backus is in the picture. I had two court orders, and I was taken right out of my town. My father raised me, and he showed me how to hunt fish and go through the mountain. It was too early. I was going to build a cabin in the fucking woods and put all my shit and supplies and go in and live in the woods because I can do it. I said, fuck it today. I can't do this no more. I can't sit in a one-room apartment. I gotta see my children and I can't see my fucking children. You sit here to listen. I'm gonna tell you what listening is. Bring the back of them brothers and I'll fight them one on one with one fucking hand. I'll break both their fucking jaws right off them. I believe you. Do you believe me, motherfucker? I, I can see you're very passionate. You wanna see? There it is. White power. That's what I believe in. The Irish. Irish. Listen, yeah. all the cops are Irish and the judge and the attorneys. You got two different types of Irish, the blind drunk and the fucking straight. We're straight. We go to work every fucking day. You guys, you deal with weapons every day. I had AK-47s, AR-15s at my disposal. I could have made this a war. You want to know what my mindset was? Take her out, spray paint the building, let's play back as boys, and take them in the mountains. You would have had to drop a fucking platoon in for me. A platoon, brothers. I kept the war. I came here and did the right thing. I turned myself in. I'll go to prison. I'm done. I threw my life away tonight. Is she dead? I, I have I have just came to work, so you know what? I'm I didn't want to the... kill her. Really, I, I got emotional when my children are there. What happened? I, like I said, I'm coming to work into a. You know what happened? You know Patricia Burns. You know the fucking broad, the full blown alcoholic and a stripper. I I know her. I, I you know you know her. her. She's a manipulator, a this stripper. Lizerne. Lizerne. Okay. My house is right across the street. I pay cash for my fucking house. I'm a taxpayer in this fucking town, and I got okay. shunned the fuck out. You guys know what time it is. I want to ask you a question. How'd you get that scar, brother? Always have it. You know what? That's the scar when somebody snitches. They cut you from the fucking... I was going to just cut her from the ear up and well, chop her fucking hair off. I don't even give a fuck anymore. This is my deal. I couldn't live my life anymore. I was afraid to go out of my fucking house. The cunt's got two court orders. My phone's home. I left it there for GPS tracking. She called all weekend drunk fucking telling me I'm going to be arrested and put in jail for a violation of child support. What am I supposed to do? I call the courts, call lawyers. I fucking went to this the police station, tried to have her arrested twice. They can't do nothing. I pissed fucking wrong and I'm arrested. You know what I'm saying? I, I, mean, I hear you. Absolutely. The, uh... What's what's kid? What's your kid's name? Carly I, and when, when, I, when, I, when I talked to her the one day, there was there was a bunch of kids there. So, listen, you guys, I gave my children everything: Victoria fucking Secrets, and they're fucking fifteen. Abercrombie, Nikes, American Eagle. Sure. What do you fucking think? I don't know the names. Oh, well, I'll make a thousand a fucking day. I own my own tree service. Yep. The winter comes in and I can't work. There ain't no work. It's the sure. black zone right now. I prepaid my rent and all my phone bills so I didn't have to lose everything. Mm -hmm. And the cunt still don't know when to leave me alone. She did all this fucking to me. 
Sounds like you got pushed a little bit. Push. Push, push. When you can't go outside your door worrying about a cop, listen, they said they suspended my license. I own my own business. I never missed a fucking payment. Family court's good for that. They listen, it's that fucking cunt Barb over there. You can tell her this, too. If I really knew who she was, I would have cut her up in front of her fucking kids. When you push a man's buttons and take everything he works for, this is what happens. All right? I'm in the Wild West now, boys. That's what we are right here. Come on, admit it. Sounds let me see your fucking, line. let me, it, we are, when a man can go in and shoot an unloaded handgun and all fucking, Governor Cuomo said the bullets were seven years a pop, he got nothing, they sent a special prosecution team in from Saratoga, what happened with him, tell me what happened with Teddy Packers, because I'm never getting out, what happened to that fucking nigger? Well, I'm not lying to you when I say I have no idea, I have no idea. I know his brothers do, I never once laid eyes on him. I, 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 and I tell you, but I absolutely, honestly, have no idea what happened. You know how fucked up I am right now? Because I love my wife and I love my kids and I did right by that bitch. I met her in a strip club. She quit drinking for seven fucking years. We moved up here because my father raised me. I bought a fucking house. Next thing I know, this cocksucker, I'm, I'm traveling in this unit every day. Two hour fucking commute and he's fucking my wife. I didn't get him. I didn't get him. I wanted him. Dead. <clears throat> Here's the problem I have. My little baby's got nothing now. But my whole tree service, my fucking American Iron Horse Chopper, and that car out in the lot. I wish one of you guys can make sure my kids get everything so I can sleep at night. Please. Is it in writing? You put I put it in book? writing right on my table before I left on this recon machine. Okay. Straight well, that's, up. Well, that's as good as... I wrote it right on the thing. I leave all my possessions to my kids to split. I got three beautiful little girls. And when a man can't see him because a woman puts a court order on you, there's fucking something wrong with his fucking plan. Just keep take and take and take like a snake. 250 a week I was paying. Fucking child support. I haven't fucking eaten in two fucking days and this cunt calls me from fucking Warren County fucking 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 child support. Puts a warrant out for my arrest on Christmas fucking Eve. You tell me there ain't something wrong here because I missed two payments? You guys, I don't even know what to do. This is out of the love of my children. I haven't seen them, man. Do you know what it is to have beautiful little girls, beautiful, beautiful little babies and you can't even see them? When I don't even know what like, to say. If I, I, it'd drive me crazy if I couldn't see them. I know. Do you have kids? Yeah, absolutely. Three of them. A co she put a fucking court order against me, a five-year court order. It took, I couldn't even go up to the town. I had to stay in this unit, you guys. This weekend was the last fucking straw. She kept calling my fucking phone, threatening me I'm going to jail. Here, the lady from Warren County Chop for mob. The thing over there calls me up, my lawyer, and tells me I got a warrant out for my arrest today. She just placed this warrant today. You think she got a hard on for me? You know what it is? Cause it's all politically corrupt. My wife knows who she is. This lady fucked me. And it started right off. She thought she was untouchable with that Teddy Backus because his two brothers are sheriff. She's a full-blown alcoholic. I called you guys several times. She drives around the whole fucking town. She only goes a mile from her house down in Melba Mays and back. And then over to that other fucking bar right there and back. The water house. Hell of a choice in men. The fucking scumbags living above an apartment. Paying 400 a fucking month to live above a bar room. With a fucking beat up pickup truck. I make 100,000 a fucking year. I'm a pro tree climber. And she fucking... It really, it stands down to three years ago when our baby passed away. I asked her to go to counseling. Six months later, I'm out. I begged her. I fucking did everything, man. I wanted to accept wards for the children. All of it. I just was... I did everything. And now I'm just fucking watching her, my kids calling up, saying she's drunk all the time, different men coming home, fucking her in my bed. I had 10,000 of brand new furniture I gave the fucking cunt. What more do you want? How much do you want to kick the fucking thing? She bought a cigarette out on me every day. It's Christmas, my third Christmas alone, third fucking Thanksgiving. Well now, motherfucker, it's time to party. I snapped, I don't know what to tell you. God, I summoned you, please. Do what you gotta do to me, but I warned you the whole fucking time. I asked you and I asked you and I asked you. Just give her a DWI. It would have been her third one. She would have went to prison. I could have raised my children. 
I called you fucking guys up 20 times. I called Saratoga fucking sheriffs. I called the Niskina police. She left a five-year court order. I have no contact. If I call the house, I would be arrested. I've taken it and taken it. My kid called me up the other day. Mom's drunk. There's no food in the fucking house. I, what do you want me to do? I asked for your fucking help, and nobody fucking gave it to me. Not a motherfucking fucking fucking person. Listen, you're lucky I'm in my right mind because I was going to have a shootout with you. But I did it the right way. I handled it like a man, so thank you. Thank okay? you. No, that's right. I'm pretty goddamn good. I could drop a 30-round mag and fucking... I don't even want to tell you the time. I'll pop the other one and take it again. I know what time it is. The AR-15 is a piece of fucking shit. I wouldn't even want to take it into the fucking woods. This has all been built up on my chest, and I'm telling you guys, and I'm telling the wrong people because you guys are like the fucking snitches of the year. When you can really let it happen, though, what happened with the Bacchus brothers, them fuckers should have been suspended without pay. Come on. An unregistered fucking handgun in an apartment complex. Dislodged. Then he went store with the SWAT team. When SWAT comes in, they're felonies across the fucking board. He got nine misdemeanors. He still got his hunting license. Them fucking coward little fucking punks. If that dude was here, I'd try to crack him. Right? You know what time it is. Neither one of them brothers. They think they're badass. That little fat, little pudgy little shit, his fucking brother. He pulled in the parking lot. They got to have cops. Fucking looks at me with my old lady in the car like he wants to fuck with me. Two court orders. I can't pick the war till I can pick it. I love my wife. I love her, man. She emotionally just destroyed my life. I have nowhere to turn to. I, I mean, I haven't eaten in two fucking days. It's over with. The, uh, is that, you came from your wife's house when you came here? I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. That's what I'm, I'm asking you. I don't know either. You know the whole fucking story? Yeah. I'm right on camera. So. I went there to fucking see my children. Were they there? No. I, I couldn't even tell you. I blacked out. I didn't know what I was fucking doing. I'm in, like, mm -hmm. I haven't eaten in two days. You see pupils in my eyes, man? We'll get you something to eat. I'm mm -hmm. stressed the fuck out. I just want you to bring me to Warren County fucking jail and put me in a cell. Yeah. And I'll just do them the rest of my life. <clears throat> I've made it. I'll be 47 next week. The woman just couldn't leave me alone. I begged her. I can't call her. She calls up. I said, please, leave me alone. I haven't gone near this broad in fucking years. I don't even call her, talk to her, talk to my kids. And you know what it is? It's stripper games. The fucking broad kept humiliating me and humiliate me and dry. It's like she was taking a cigarette butt and doing me. Here's the fucking deal, too. I have joint custody. And every holiday, I'm supposed to have them half the holidays, half the summers, with the court orders put on me last year, I lost all of it and kept getting threatened, you're going to jail. She took my children out to cover up her second lifestyle. You can ask anybody in that fucking town and do an investigation. The fucking bitch is a full-blown alcoholic. Like this, shakes. The last four weekends we had our house, she ran from Friday to Saturday. One fuck, two weekends was in the Woodside Motel, and I don't even know where she ended up the other two weekends, over the Waterhouse with fucking Bacchus. Hmm. You never, you didn't hear, you guys are pissing on my back and telling me it's raining if you didn't hear what happened last year at this time. I didn't hear all the details. Brother. I heard about him getting arrested, but I didn't, arrested. Know, I didn't know how it turned out. He shot the house up with a fucking gun and beat the fuck out of her and got all misdemeanors. Yeah, I didn't hear that. You didn't hear it? No, That's what his fucking charges were, nine misdemeanors. You know, Cuomo is on top of every fucking thing. The unregistered handgun was a pistol, a twenty two. He shouldn't even be out of fucking jail now and he's out running the streets. Let him run back to his pig now as a platter ring her back in. And she said he wanted to marry her. Knew her for fucking six months. I had fifteen years in it. 
two beautiful children. And here's the kicker with the stripper. She had three other kids with three different guys. The fathers never paid a dime. I took them under as my own and supported them for 15 fucking years. 15 years and this is how you repay me? Again, a lot going on, but I had nothing going on. I sit in my fucking house and I don't bother nobody, and I go to work and pay that child support every week because I don't want to go to. No, fucking I'm saying they, yeah, a lot come on to you all at once, sir. What you're describing to me? It's a lot of pressure, a lot of stress. The stress is, you guys. I need a cigarette. I fucking left my cigarettes in the jacket. I, I fucking been smoking two packs of cigarettes a day. I never smoked my whole life till I met this bitch in my 30s, man. Do you know what it is to have a fucking broad that's out cheating on you and you just... How can you leave her with two beautiful... Ch I just don't even get it. I just... There's nothing I can fucking do. I want you to give me your words you guys at my vehicle what's going to happen to that i want my children to have that i want them brought to my sister and she can sell them and put the money in a trust account i listed everything in the fucking one and uh, well, talking if you wrote like you said but you wrote it down before you left that's a, that's a like a legal binding deal it's like a last will and testament type deal and if that's what you want then that's what will happen i love my babies you want to know what else is fucked up this is what snapped me too my one daughter is 16 and she's been staying at a boy's house continuously for fat the last six or eight months. I didn't know the fucker's address because I go over and slice his fucking father's heart out. My daughter's already had sexual inner fucking course too at 16. 16! How can I have him arrested for fucking rape? And this broad sits over there fucking drunk. Drunk. She allowing this to go on? She's house? allowing it to go on. And my two daughters, I always told her my most valuable possessions. If something ever happens to them, I'm not going to the police. I told her that last year when the shit happened with the gunshots. I asked you guys for help all the way, and you fucking shit down my fucking throat. You told me to handle it myself. I prayed to God I handle it to myself. I rid the devil of the fucking planet tonight. I went to see a shrink. The fucking guy tells me straight to fuck out. Hmm. I don't even know what to do anymore. I love my children, I said, night after night after night, crying in tears like a little cunt. I can't even see my fucking babies. <laughs> now I'll never see them again. Like I said, Cliff, you had a lot thrown at you all at one time there, but... I have nobody to fucking help me. I went to ask for help from people, and they, I, they don't do nothing. I work for so many police officers, you guys. I do all the highway department work, schools work. And I'm a good fucking guy, and I never fucking did nothing wrong. I'm like, this fucking bitch, I married a stripper, and she got off on this shit. Every fucking day, calling me up. I had two court orders. She wanted to run my life, just pay and take everything I own. I'm in Supreme Court. I spent 13000 A lawyer sends me a bill, says I'm my own another 10000 to divorce a stripper that don't own nothing. They're all my possessions, my assets. I work my ass off. And I never disrespected you guys ever in my life. And I showed you respect tonight. Trust me, brother. I showed you respect. You did. You did. Absolutely. We're not disagreeing with that. <clears throat> I lost everything, you guys. I had the most beautiful fucking everything. What started was two years ago. She went drinking down a mellow maze, come back. I'm sitting on my fucking couch, next thing you know, I was in Hadley, right on the border, yep. and I bought the house in Luzerne, we were remodeling it. Mm -hmm. The whole house lights up. She said I threatened her with a gun, all my guns were locked in that gun cabinet. AK, AR, all of them. Yep. I never ever, 
I just taught my daughters how to shoot low guns, but you know when men go away, your guns need to be locked up because you see the shit that happens with kids. Sure. I've always followed all the laws and the fucking rules. Yeah. Absolutely. I don't even know what the fuck I just did. I blocked the fuck out. Mm -hmm. My sister called me up and said she's been seeing my kids behind my back. I fucking lost it. What kind of a fucking game is that? I haven't seen my kids in fucking almost a year. So your sister called you today? And that I spoke to her today because I was calling her up to tell her there's been a warrant put out on my arrest on Christmas fucking Eve for missing two mm -hmm. payments of child support. It was the last straw. I go day to day waiting for a business call. I haven't got a call in four weeks. I haven't eaten in two fucking days. This is one of our bosses get here. We'll see if we can get you something to eat if that's be like You guys, that. I can't eat. I'm shaking. I'm a nervous wreck. I want you to well, fucking... Well, probably be good for you, though. I want you to give me my charge and bring me to Warren and put me in a well, cell. I want to be in like a cell. Just like you. We're just little workers. Warm. We don't make all those decisions. Nope. Yeah, but you guys make decisions when it fucking goes to people's houses. You're the one that makes the decisions. Whoever made the decision for the Bacchus brothers... Wouldn't be us, man. We're the little Indians, not the Chiefs around here, for the golfers. Yep. Hey. I give you guys your props. I don't know what to say. <clears throat> Definitely do your jobs. Well, I have to tell you, the laws in this country have changed. We go back to the 80s, every fucking one of your cars said, honor, serve, and protect. Now you should put rape and pillage on it. Because you're out to write your fucking quotas and your tickets, and no money, it's just, it's out of control. She had me arrested. This is what started it all off. And I didn't do nothing, and my daughter told the DA I didn't do nothing. She should have been arrested. What happens to me, I had to pay a fine and walk out or pay the fine just to keep the fucking peace because I don't like cops and courts. I'm never going to fucking law-abiding citizen. Mm -hmm. Did you get two of those? Hi. Yeah, three of them. Are you doing? Good. Merry Christmas. Good. What's your last name? Hi, sir. How are you? My name is Doug David. I'm as long as you ain't a Bacchus. Oh, have a seat. No, no. Doug David, sir, nice to meet you. I'm sorry, I don't know your name. Burns Clifford R. Oh, Clifford, nice to meet you, sir. Um, you know, you guys, this is... I don't want to be disrespectful. You know what I'm saying? I'm sorry. What's on my mind is the Bacchus brothers and your fucking corrupt charges that were rigged. He went over and shot my wife's house up at the fucking... my kid's home in the house he gave nine misdemeanors. You know what the fuck I'm talking about, don't you? You head honcho. Oh, I'm not a head honcho. You're not a head honcho. No, you got me all. Who breaks the charges that night? When a SWAT team comes in, that means felonies across the board. Okay. All right, when a SWAT team comes in, tell me what it means. If um, you did that fucking shit in Albany, you'd never get out with the key thrown away. Then I bring a lawyer from fucking Albany up here to Wild West. They write their own laws here. Mm -hmm. He's writing their own laws. Um... What we'd like to do, sir, is start out with, uh... I ain't starting out with nothing. Give me a charge and put me in my cell. Okay. All right? I'm signing nothing, not guilty on every fucking thing. Just give me the charge and put me in my cell. You're getting nowhere with me. Um, I'm just getting arriving here, so I'm not quite sure what transpired this evening, and we'd like to just try to find out a little bit of... What transpired yes, is sir. a man's been pushed to the edge. His kids ripped out of his life. What fucking place calls you up today on Christmas Eve telling him you're putting a warrant out for his arrest if he didn't pay his child support? Just that fat call. fucking cunt barred next door in the fucking support collection unit. Called you today, sir? Called me today. My attorney said she's putting a warrant out for my arrest on fucking Christmas. I haven't seen my kids. I missed two payments. I paid 250 a fucking week. 
Is that Warren County Sport Collection? Warren County. What do you call yourself? Last of the Wild West, brother. Your laws don't float with Albany County. I already know it. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you got a call today from Barb, who told you that there's a back, there's a... Uh, I missed two payments. Okay. And, and then what, what happened after that, sir? I don't know what happened. My lawyer called me up, said there's a warrant out for my arrest. Okay. And possibly, um, again, I'm just walking in. What happened this evening, sir? I lost my life this evening. I'll never see my daughters again. Over a fucking stripper and an alcoholic piece of shit. Alright? Name one of you fucking motherfuckers that let a man go in your fucking kid's house and dislodge a fucking gun. This has been in my brain for a year. She put two court orders on me and took me away. Because a teddy back has put her up to it. Alright? You know who the fuck I'm talking about? Your fucking tough guy back is motherfuckers. I hate them motherfuckers. The coward little punks. Tell them I said it. They got what they wanted. He should have finished the job. How's that, Teddy boy? But he got all misdemeanors for dislodging a fucking 22 caliber gun in the house in his apartment complex. He should have got 10 felonies across the board. The six fucking bullets in the chamber, the unregistered handgun, you tell me. You corrupt cocksucker. These guys, they're just fucking peons like I am in life. You, you, you're high up. Sir, I'm not high up. You're a detective, aren't you? I'm a criminal investigator. Criminal investigator. Yeah. Did you ever invest the back of shit that happened a year ago? I was involved in it. Yeah. You were involved with it, you motherfucker? Well, sit down. But, sir, you got on You covered the charges up. No, sir, you got the wrong person, sir. <clears throat> Fuck you. The wrong person, sir. Wrong person? Yeah. Unregistered yeah. handgun. In a compartment complex, you tell me about the charges, brother. Okay, but sir, I didn't make the decision on the I know, but who makes the decisions? I don't know you guys. My children were there. What we need to do, sir, is, and you, and you just started out, okay, about what transpired today, sir. I have... Transpired, Warren County calls me up today. Okay. My attorney and says I'm going to jail on Christmas Eve because I missed two child support payments. That fat fucking cunt over there, Barb. Okay. Took okay. my license, I can't even work anymore. But I fucking pay and I make my child support payment. On Christmas Eve, I haven't seen my kids. That, then that, I, you know, sir, I can tell you. You say all the bullshit it's, you want. It's, it's, just, it's difficult, sir. I understand. Is it sir. fucking difficult yeah. when you. You got kids, motherfucker? Yeah, yeah, I do, sir, yes. I do. Clipper. You got kids? Yeah, I got three young kids. All right. Yeah. If a man went in your fucking house, you were broke up with your lady and dislodged a firearm right next to my fucking kid's head, what would you do? I'd be pissed. You'd be pissed? I'd be pissed. You'd be pissed. Well, that's a fucking good one, ain't it? You let the cocksucker slide with nine misdemeanors when you had the SWAT team there. A standoff. He Clifford. should still be in jail without the Clifford. fucking key. Clifford, I was there that night. Okay. Were you there? Well, below zero. Well, why don't we somebody we tell me the fuck in what the fuck We filed happened. the charges. No, we Mr. Me you no, filed. We have no so he can have his hunting license. I got the whole lowdown from fucking Rail Zubel. His father built town fucking hall. Okay. I can't tell you. No, you don't want to tell, tell me you because you really, did. you're corrupt motherfuckers. That's why my war's right here. You're lucky. My war didn't go the way I wanted to. I did nothing wrong. All right. So you got a call today, sir, from child support. You're behind two payments. Saying they just put a warrant out for my fucking arrest. Okay. All right. Call my lawyer's office. I call my sister up. I tell her I'm going to jail. I have nobody to fucking watch my assets. My sister fucking tells me, well, I've been seeing your kids behind your back. I haven't seen my kids in going on a year because of a phony court order. Five-year court order. What's your sister's name? Tina Burns. And where does she live? Down in Schenectady. Okay, so she's been seeing your kids? That's what I hear. Okay. You know what it is to sit home every day wondering what's going on with your children? And then I hear this, too. My daughter fucking emailed me and said my one daughter, 16 years old, found school, never goes, and is sleeping at a kid's house. The mother's an alcoholic. You get what I'm saying? My daughter now is 16. I want to have somebody arrested for rape. They're fucking my little daughter at 16 years old. 
I want to have a rape kit test taken. I have no rights to my children anymore. I left that con alone for fucking, and she, this weekend, called up all drunk, leaving all kinds of messages on my thing like she's butting a cigarette out of my fucking hand. I can't take it no more. I fucking snapped. I love my children. When you take a fucking man's children that work, 15 years I worked for them. I built a business and an empire. I'm a professional tree climber. She's fucking taking everything I got. And I go to court, I spend 13 grand on the one lawyer. He says I still owe him 10 fucking thousand. I got nothing. And here's the kicker with a five year court order. I had joint fucking custody and full visitation, but never could see my kids because of a fucking five year court order on a phony charge for Greenfield. My kid called the DA, they threw the fucking charge out. But the plea, I had to, it was dropped down to like jaywalking, but I, they kept a five year court order on me with no contact to my kids, call the house, anything. I, I lost my children. You get what I'm saying? What, uh, what happened this afternoon, sir? I'm sitting home. It's Christmas Eve. I want to call my children up all day. I can't even fucking talk to them. They don't call. I bought them two iPhones the last time I seen them. My mother broke one on the bottom of the stairs like that. She took me out of their life so she can have a new man in her life. Three years ago, our fucking daughter passed away. Did you know about that? It happened in fucking on 3rd Ave. Who's All natural causes. Who's that? Crystalline cannabis. Sorry to hear that. Our daughter passed away. Her mom's right off the boat Irish. Her parents are alcoholic disease in her family. I had her quit drinking for seven years. When this shit happened with our daughter, she, got, she worked for St. Peter's. They did the autopsy there. They found nothing wrong with the kid. The fucking doctor Biden or whatever on HBO, Talked to her for a fucking half hour, told her I would have called it a case of SIDS. She had like a flu. Two days after Christmas, all the family or nobody paying attention, she passed away with my, my other daughter in bed with her at night. My other daughter's all fucked up in the head, can't even sleep at night. I asked him to go to counseling. What she did to me, because I wanted to do the right thing, put the court orders on me and shot me right out of their lives. You know what I'm saying? 15 years and two beautiful children. And then her three kids, she's a stripper. Three kids with three different guys. I supported them their whole lives. I've been used and bought out like a fucking cigarette. You get what I'm saying? For doing the right thing in fucking life. So after Tina called you today, what happened? She said she was seeing my fucking kids. It blew my fucking cog. She hated my wife. Ever since those gunshots with Bacchus, my sister even went to court with me and watched me fucking, we subpoenaed it. you guys, the Warren Sheriff, the fucking the court, told the whole story, the judge still let her have the kids. I didn't find out about the gunshots until two weeks after. CPS lied to me too. Never called the father, I'm fucking on paper for pain and joint custody. You know why? Because it's the Wild West up here. It's the Wild West. You fuckers write your own charges. Don't ever fucking sit there and tell me you don't. When a guy goes in an apartment complex with children in it, three buildings, and dislodges a firearm, that's a fucking felony. The gun was unregistered. Every fucking bullet in the chamber was a fucking felony. You read Governor Cuomo's laws? You big fucking shot? You don't read them. You don't even know what the fuck. You want me to question you down about his laws right now? Because I'd spin your fucking head. You don't know them. He should have had all felonies across the board. Bacchus shouldn't even be out today, but they want him to have his hunting license. Well, ain't that fucking something, ain't it, motherfucker? You fucking coward little punks. Fuck you. Hey, where does Dina live? She lives in Schenectady. I commuted a fucking hour a fucking day down and back while Bacchus was fucking my old, my old lady right in my bed. Teddy Bacchus. So after she called you today, sir, what happened? I lost it. It's Christmas. I haven't seen my children in three Christmases. I have a custody to see them, but when she put the court order on me with Teddy Bacchus, he put her all up to it. I found out everything. And did you drive up here, sir, from your house? Go fuck yourself. How the fuck do you think I got here? Flu or walk? My car's right out in the right, fucking park. Are you fucking stupid? No, I'm not stupid, sir. I'm just trying to find out. I just got Find out this. You're corrupt cocksuckers, and this is the Wild West. What's my charge? I, I don't know yet, sir. You don't know yet? No. I'm just trying to find out what happened tonight, sir. 
So you said you drove up here? I wanted to see my babies. Okay. I haven't seen my children in fucking years. You guys started this war. Do you under fucking stand me? Do you understand me, motherfucker? You started the war. That coward just ran out of here because he knows what you fucking did. You rigged another man's charges because his brothers are sheriffs. Go fuck yourself. Suck a dick. Alright? You go home to your kids, motherfucker? I haven't seen my kids because of that motherfucker. Them back his brothers? I would have loved to ran into them. You are the most corrupt motherfuckers on the planet, right here in Warren County. You did that shit down Albany? The Backus brothers should have been suspended without pay and fired from their fucking jobs. All right? Am I telling you a lie? I understand you're upset, sir. No, understand. Admit it. What are the charges when you take an unregistered fucking handgun in an apartment complex and dislodge it with kids there? They're misdemeanors? That's apparently what they're misdemeanors? And the SWAT team right. guns? Look, you can't even... You I'll wipe that smirk off your fucking face, motherfucker. You ever laugh at me again? No, you're smiling like you think it's funny. I don't, sir. You just smile. I'm upset. I'm upset. I'm upset. Understand you're upset, sir. It's American justice, cocksucker. After you drove up here, sir? Fuck you, you nigger. What happened? What happened after Suck a dick. Here? Give me my fucking charge. I ain't signing nothing. Can you uh, tell me what happened after I you I ain't drove telling you a fucking thing. Please tell me after you drove well, up go here. Go fuck happened? yourself. What happened after Go you fuck yourself. Up? What do you think? I can't kick you upside the head with my fucking boot right now? I'll make you wear this size A, motherfucker. You coward little punk. You cocksucker started this. All right? You started it. You did. Because you're corrupt. You're corrupt. When a fucker can, I'm going to say it again, when a guy can take a 22 caliber pistol, no pistol permit, and the gun was illegal, nobody even knew who owned the fucking thing. What was that, one of his brother's guns? Is that why the charges got swept under? I get on 15 different scenarios in my brain why this happened. Why did he get nine misdemeanors? Don't know, sir. You don't know? No, You're full of shit. I don't you two know. just said you knew about the fucking case. The boy right. guy walked out of here. That was a small part of it. I a small you part of it? Me Will you fucking tell me what happened? What was his charges? You would ask me if I was involved in it, and I gave you an answer. All right. My answer was yes. I said I was a part of it. I was not involved in the charging or any I know, but none of you've got the balls to take responsibility. You let the charges get rigged. Um... I gave the bitch what she wanted. She wanted me in jail the rest of my life so she could have all my fucking shit and took my kids right out of my life. I'm a man. They're my little babies. I haven't seen them in a year. Three Christmases in a row, too. I haven't seen them. Thanksgiving's holidays, and I got joint custody, spent 13 grand. When you can take a man and fucking keep him from his children, there's a fucking problem. I supported him. I supported three kids that weren't mine for 15 years. The father didn't pay a dime, but she didn't go to family court for them. I got a call from that fucking bitch Barb today, the Warren County called my fucking lawyer up. She put a warrant out on Christmas Eve for me not for missing two payments. Well, if it's any consolation to you, sir, I've paid child support for years. Two hundred and fifty a week though? Um, that's a thousand a month. That's like that, you make ninety thousand a year. That, that's more than that's I more than you make. That, that's more How's than that? I make. Well, actually you're right, it's more than I make too. But it's exactly. I haven't paid it. So to some degree, I can side with what you're saying. You ain't siding with me. You're ready to write me my charge and just put me in a fucking jail cell. I'm going to go to a fucking jail cell, and I just want to lay out the rest of my life. I don't care. You're going to support me now, you dirty, rotten motherfuckers. You did this. But I know what it's like to pay child support. So you're sitting in a room with a person that's paid it for a long time, and I know how difficult it is to make ends meet, to support your family. and Making ends meet, though. Do you see your children every night? Do you know my fucking 16-year-old daughter sleeping at some motherfucker's house 
and the kids having sex with her, and the mother condones it, and the drunk mother that I marry condones it, and I can't do nothing but hear about the fucking shit? That fucking stripper fucking cunt put a court order against me and took my children out of my life for Ted Bacchus. All right? I was going to work every day, 200 miles on commuting down in this unit and back up here while she's fucking another man on my 10,000 in furniture. Is there an order right now, sir? Is there an order in effect right now? Go fuck yourself. You know my whole record right now. I Why are you playing fucking I, stupid with me? I don't know your record, sir. I got I a good order against me. I can't fucking go anywhere. No, I Look at this. My hands are bleeding. I wasn't aware of that. all over me. You like that? I wasn't aware of a court order. Listen. I'm telling you man to man, I love my children. They meant everything to me. And I couldn't even fucking see them. It was like the devil took my body over today. I just had it. I couldn't do it no more. I can't do it. You know what it is to live your life in a fucking room like this because everything's been taken from you and you leave them alone. You don't go around the cunt. She called my phone several times this weekend threatening me. She's having me arrested. I can't even live anymore. I can't fucking live. Child support's tough. No, it's, it's, it's very 20 good. other things that are involved with it, though. You don't even get yeah. the big picture. Well, I, I can tell you, I've been through through uh, some difficult times myself, all right? And I just, I, I, um, I know it's not an easy thing to deal with, especially around the holidays. I lost everything, and I'm definitely, I'm hurt. What do you mean you lost everything? The woman's taken everything. I just, I can't even live anymore. I haven't worked in three weeks because it's winter time. I own a small tree service. I tell that cunt over there to send me a modification of support. She didn't send the modification of support to Lady Barb. She got what she wants. You know who she is? Tell her thank you. So I ever get the fuck out? I don't know. I ain't ever getting the fuck out. So after Tina called, what happened? Like I got in an argument with her because she lied to me. She went to court with me as a fucking right at the trial. She hates my wife. I got in an argument with her. I haven't been talking to her in three or four months. She goes behind my back and calls the snake, my wife, so she can see my kids. Today she called her? I don't know if she called her. She said, I've been seeing your kids and I talked to your ex-wife. After she fucking hated her, went to the trial. I don't talk to anybody anymore. I don't even go out of my fucking house. I have no social life. I go to a store, I don't even want to talk to people. I just, I'm done. I lost every fucking thing in my life I work for. Don't you fucking get it? And when a man loses his little baby girls, that he fucking lost and pays every fucking thing for that. He can't fucking see him. And I went to court, I spent all my money, I hired the biggest lawyer going, and I got fucked. I don't get it. I don't fucking get it. I don't get the laws in New York State. All they want to see is my little baby. I want to hold him. I want to hold him to slaughter. <laughs> she took him out of my life, and then she made a mockery of me, man. I haven't seen my daughter. She tells me, look at my ring and fucking family. Gordy asked me to marry him. She knew the guy six months. He beat the fuck out of him, shot the house up. What kind of a fucking woman can have a man like that in her life? I always did right by my wife. I fucking worked my ass off, but she was a drunk. I tried to stop her from drinking. I did the best I could. Next thing I know, court orders. I'm out of my house. I fucking get arrested. I didn't do nothing. And then it's just gone worse. I've sat like a vegetable for two years now. Can't even get a fucking divorce. Thousands of dollars. I work for nothing, man. Everything's being taken from me. What the fuck do you want from me? I just wanted to see my babies at Christmas. <laughs> I just wanted to see my babies. My little girls. I just want one smile on my face. It's been three years, man. I just want to see my girls. Don't you understand? That's all. My sister's seeing it. She's going to call me. I'm not. My baby's over there. I got joint custody, full visitation. I can't, I can't exercise. The champ, be arrested. The fuck?
fucking ex wife for coming up on a false charge. That was it. I worked too hard for my shit. Today was it. It was the breaking point. They can have it all, you motherfuckers. Take it all. Take my dump truck. I work my fucking life off for my chipper, my business. Take my car, my fucking thirty thousand dollar motorcycle. I work for. Take it all, motherfuckers. I don't care no more. Just put me in a fucking jail cell. What happened when you got to the house tonight? Was Tina there when you got there? No. Who was there when you got there? Dude, I blacked out. I don't know what the fuck happened. I haven't eaten in two days. I feel like I'm tripping on drugs right now. I'm so stressed out. I try to tell people to help me and nobody helped me. I spent thousands on my fucking lawyer. He don't help. He calls me up today. This is the, the lady from the support guy. She just goes, put a one out for your birthday on Christmas Eve. What the fuck? Is there any heart? Has anybody got anything? I fucking can't take it no more. I just want to see my kid. That's all I'm asking for. Who was at the house tonight when you came? I don't know. You can't you that. Yeah. 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 That's all I'm asking you right now. What do you think, I'm fucking stupid? I'm signing nothing. Give me my fucking charge, whatever you want to give me. You ask me again, I'm going to fucking rip your fucking head off. Get out. You keep asking me, what do you want me to fucking tell you? I just told you I snapped. I don't see my kids. All right? You know what the fuck happened. I understand very well that you're upset. Did you do this to Teddy Bacchus? It's the holidays. You What'd you do to Teddy back? It's powder his balls and send him home without even a fucking fucking veil? You cocksucker. You know a fucking what, what I'm talking about, don't you? The, um... kids and everything he fucking worked for, motherfucker. This is what happens. You did everything legal. I fucking spent thousands of dollars and went to these corrupt courts. Your fucking courts are all corrupt up here. I can see it's brotherly love. It's a union up here. You took care of your own. I got the fucking picture. But you didn't know what this guy was all about. You fucking, fucking kicked a hornet, motherfucker. I don't care. I have nothing to live for anymore. Everything was taken by Warren County. All right? Every fucking thing. And I live an hour from here. Two back, two back pays though, in rear, in rear. Two fucking payments. Yeah. I used to get these, um, they'd mail me these things. Listen, I got everything, the coupons, all of it. Yeah. But you know my coupons. Irish pride? I told the lady. I went in front of two judges. The, <laughs> the paperwork got this, it got fucked up. Mm -hmm. From the going back and the lady at the sport collection, you didn't even know I went to court that day, paid a thousand in cash, got a new payment set. Six weeks later, I get a fucking, fucking, fucking thing saying my license is suspended while I'm self-employed. For nothing, for paying. I got for the, fucking uh, paying. The coupons. I, I get the coupons too. Yeah, Dude, Mr. they Davis. jacked me up. I went, it was illegal what they did. My lawyer said I had to file another petition. I called up ten days ago. She never sent the petition out because I'm going to have her ass. I just went in front of a judge and paid a thousand cash, cleaned the arrears up, and got a new payment set. Six weeks later, her paperwork must have been shuffled. I get a letter from Motor Vehicle that my license is being suspended, and my payment's now two fifty a week. He goes, you got to pay her right now. So I just started paying the two fifty a week. I'm making money because I make a thousand a day in my tree service. I'm a professional climber. Nice. The last three weeks, though, 
Before winter, I pay all my bills ahead, all my phone bills, insurances, all that shit for the business. Mm -hmm. I pay rent for two months. I haven't eaten in two fucking days and there's no boys. I don't go to welfare. I'll never collect a fucking thing from this cocksucker, nasty nigger fucking state. You do not appear to be the welfare anniversary. That's and right. Hard work and and I fucking, state. fucking, I haven't worked in three weeks. You see the cows is just coming off my fucking hands? You're a hard working man. That's what I am. And I had a fucking stripper take everything and a guy fucking who was an alcoholic too. They're both alcoholics. That makes me wonder, are the Bacchus brothers that work here fucking alcoholics, the Irish cocksuckers? Do it to a nigger, don't do it to your own fucking kind, motherfucker. You see what that is? For my daughter, that wasn't even my fucking kid that I raised for 15 fucking years. The mother never come out of the bottle. I kept trying to pick the fucking pieces up and get shoved up my ass for doing it. That's my fucking pride right there. Irish, brother. Ireland. I'm a I fucked up tonight. I ruined my whole fucking life over a fucking stripper. I couldn't see my kids. I just, you don't even get it, man. I understand. I went to counseling and every fucking thing. Did everything everybody asked and kept paying and paying. And she's out running around drunk. 250 weeks. The kids ain't got no food and fucking decent clothes. 250 a fucking week. I didn't pay that much, but I paid a lot. It's not easy when you I want to apologize you for swearing at you and shit and calling right. you a fucking asshole. But, you know, when you tell me you were involved in that case last year, you know the cover-up what happened. Saratoga's supposed to send a special prosecution team, and I never heard anything else to give them the right charges. What happened with that? Don't know anything about it. Don't know nothing about it. You Don't fucking guys are sure. good. You guys are good. You know everything. You all talk about everything. You're a fucking union. Two of my cousins are fucking cops. You ain't pulling the wool over my eyes. But well, right, like it's a wild you, west up here. A little while ago you asked me, I told you I was involved in it. I wasn't involved in issuing charges. I had a small part of the investigation. I answered you honestly, you asked me, I gave you an honest answer. Wasn't well, illegal hunt, handgun dislodging, uh, dislodging an apartment complex. Don't know. Fuck you, the bullet holes are all over the place. I did a trial in family court before he went to trial and he was proven guilty in family court. It was all backwards. That's what fucking happened. Two of your just fucking guys went in there. Said he beat the fuck out of him and he shot the gun up. And he ran next door above the place and hid the gun inside the building. The dude's a dirt bag. Who the lives above? Let me ask you a question. Who lives above a fucking bar room at 400 a week and tries to beat up truck? He's the black sheep of the family. His brothers are outstanding sheriffs. They cover for him so he can still have his hunting license? That I don't about. No, you know what it's about. I, yeah, it's tough though paying that support, especially. It ain't even the fucking support. I'm gonna tell you again. Not seeing fucking, your kids. Not seeing my children. Not seeing one of you fucking heroes go through it. A court order against you if you go. I I couldn't call their house, and I could have no contact with going around the mother. She took advantage of it. I had supposed to pick my kids up at Stewart's, they're never there. And I just gave up, it's been eight months. Because I can't afford to lose everything. Well, it was it today. I lost everything, didn't I, buddy? 100,000 in business equipment, 30 some thousand dollar motorcycle, the Z28 out in the fucking parking lot, but I'm a bum. What do I sell, crack or something? Look like a hard working man. That's right, that's what I am. A working slob that got fucked by the system. You know the deal? You gotta fuck some of your Irish once in a while because the white man's a minority now in this world. Do you understand that? Get out of the fucking city of Schenectady. It's all Puerto Rican specs, fucking niggers. And then these towel heads, we're going to fucking war against them. They own every fucking thing. They live in a million dollar house and driving BMWs. I love my wife. I begged her. She couldn't get out of the bottle, brother. Then I'm hearing drips and drabs about my kids. The one kid ain't going to school, staying at some fucking kid's house, having sexual intercourse at 16 years old. Do you condone that? What would you do if you came home and heard that about your kid? You think you would have snapped? That'd make me upset. 
upset. You want to know where a gun in fucking the Wild West put a fucking bullet in the motherfucker? Because the other people that are condoning it. But I found out about where she's going. They're alcoholics too. They're all alcoholics up here. All you motherfuckers do is go home and drink. How old are you? Yeah, how old are you? 53. 50 fucking 3. You look pretty good for your age. But why are your eyes all bagged up? Having a couple shots tonight yourself? No. I'd be a fucking maze. I hate alcoholics because I live with one. I should have just took a bullet tonight. But you know what? For my jail cell, 25 to life, whatever you're going to give me, maybe I can just hear about my daughters that they made something of their lives, doctor or lawyer or military. I fucking love them. Just for that motherfucker her calling me up, tell me, fuck, I want to come see me. You can't even come see me, my own baby. Don't do kids that. You know what they do is they start hanging out with the wrong people and substance abuse and all this fucking shit. I spent thousands to get my babies back. Thousands, man. Difficult. Real tough. I lost it. I snapped tonight. I can't do it no more. I'd rather be in a little shell in a corner. Fucking than just fuck it. Fuck my life. I had 47 years. I can't do it no more. She took everything from me, that fucking cunt. And she's too stupid to do this shit. It took a man behind her back to fucking make her do it. You're a hard-working man. It's a tough job you got, too. Yeah. Don't even matter me. It's about your children. They're everything to me, my babies. I don't know how to handle it. I don't know what to do anymore. How can this fucking corrupt society take the kids away from you? For nothing. And they want you to pay, 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 pay. Every time I go to lawyers, you got money for me, you got money. Here's what I got, motherfucker, here's what I got. Nothing. Yeah. I haven't eaten in two fucking days. I put my last horny in my tank. If it's any consolation, I can tell you I've been through child support and been through the whole thing so and it's not easy it's not easy seeing not seeing your kids on holidays or seeing them at all um i know the system sometimes doesn't sound like it's fair it doesn't seem the lady like fucked me over there i did nothing wrong to put a warrant out that's a ruthless heartless fucking cunt her name's Barb from the Warren fucking County fucking support collection you know, over there. Were you having deductions taken out? <laughs> or were you doing it, um... Dude, I'm self-employed. I have to go to the fucking post office every six days and mail a $250 money order out. I never get to keep any of my money. My life's been taken from me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you had asked me earlier how much I paid. It, it wasn't that much, but it was, it, was, it was enough. It was enough a month. They did it by... They wanted to do that, but I have to hunt for my work. I'm self-employed, don't you get it? Nobody fucking pays my bills. Everything I amass is from my hard work. I risk my life for my money, sort of what you guys do. But I go 120 foot the, in the air and take yeah. a tree down over houses, pools, and decks on ropes. It's amazing what you guys can do. Amazing work. I, was t I told myself I was going to leave the state, but I couldn't get the divorce done. The bitch kept contesting it. Did anything come out this weekend with the ice storm? Did anybody reach out to we you? We didn't get nothing. We got no calls. That's all. That's the only reason I go out of my house to look at a job or to get food to bring back to my house. My life is a nutshell. I went to a counselor and he tells me, you can never go back with your wife. She's an alcoholic. Blah, 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 blah. Then the fucking bitch calls me up on Saturday night, tells me to come up and fuck her. She still loves me. She's got my head emotionally fucked up after she cheated and done all this shit. And then they're lying to me. They say this petty back has dropped off the face of the earth. It hasn't been over there in three or four weeks. I don't know when he's been there.
You know what Irish pride is? This is what she did to me the last time I took my, I picked my kids up. I almost got arrested. The cocksucker comes over to store to my wife and drops my kid off and he's fucking smirking at me and drives away. I had all I could do to reframe myself. My daughter put me in check. It ain't worth it. Just leave that. Well, my fucking little babies ain't there to tell me anything anymore. I'm fucking done. I don't even know what to fucking do. When a man loses his fucking kids, you tell me that's fucking... What am I supposed to do? How many kids do you have? I got two with this broad. I got three naturally. I have another daughter. She lives up on exit 23. Okay, so you have... Which two do you have with her? Harley and Autumn. They're Irish twins, 14 months apart. Okay, who's the one at exit 23? That's my daughter, Samantha. I'm a grandfather now. She just had a baby. But this is another debacle. She come to live with me at the beginning of the summer because the guy was fucking beating her up and doing some bad shit. I rolled a red carpet out. I said, I'll take care of you and and my granddaughter, just please, just get a little part-time job, start your life over, don't worry about him. I'll help you get a car. She lived there two or three weeks, I come home one day, she got her shit packed and she went back with him. A month ago, he got arrested up on 23 about a month ago and she's back down living. But I kind of like wouldn't let her come and live with me, I made her stay with her, her, her sister because I was upset, I was trying to teach her a lesson. I have morals, I have backbone, man. I bring my children up right. They don't run all over the fucking place. They do their fucking homework. Everything I worked for my whole life has been taken from me. So what's a man supposed to fucking do? You know what it is, too? I've been dwelling on it every day. I sit in my house like this, I can't, I'm watching TV, but I'm not focused on that. I've been betrayed by my wife, all right? And it was helped by Teddy Bacchus, and so it all blew my whole show up. That's it, I don't want to talk about it anymore. It's just fucking over, what does it what's the matter now? My life's over with. Well, it's important to hear your side, what happened tonight up there. Hear my side? I called you cocksuckers this weekend that she was drunk. She got rid of the kids, they go to her house, she was drinking and driving and everything they knew because she wasn't home, then she gets back, she's blind drunk, they don't do nothing. Makes me wonder about the war on corrupt sheriffs, because you're fucking corrupt. You're the most corrupt cocksuckers in New York State. You write your own tickets. You get what I'm saying? If that's the way you feel, that's no. the way you feel. Well, how do I feel it when I just watch it happen? I know everything about the laws. When the guy shot, I'm going to say it one more fucking time right on camera for you. When a guy brings an unregistered loaded handgun into an apartment complex and it shoots it through the ceiling, they even tried to cover the bullet when it shots up. I got him right on my fucking phone where the fucking toothpaste was falling right out of the fucking ceiling. I went to trial and family court and proved the gun shot to everything backwards before his own trial. He still didn't get my kids. CPS covered it up too. If something like that happens with your kids and say you were divorced, wouldn't you want to know what was going on? Took them two to three weeks to fucking tell me. I got a call from fucking Rail Zubel. His father built town hall in Luzerne. We couldn't call you up the night it happened or when it happened because we knew you would have come up and flipped. That's what they told me. So I start fighting it. I called CPS, called everybody, went to family courts. It's because it was too old or what? I spun my heels and got nowhere over every fucking thing. I lost my little babies. I don't know what to say. I just, I, I don't even know what to say. I just want to see my fucking children when a woman can keep putting a cigarette butt out on you. I don't even know what to fucking say. I'm crazy now. I'm crazy over shit. I can't even fucking think. I can't go out of my fucking house worrying about cops arresting me. I'm fucking, fucking, fucking Christmas Eve. I get a call from my lawyer to come putting a warrant out for my arrest for two back child support payments. I got in the mail. I used to get these things telling me. I you keep avoiding the fucking question, though. Barb over there at the Warren County, all right? Yeah. Support collection unit. Fuck me all the way. Because I ran my Irish mouth to her.
the town I was just in brought a thousand in and this judge, but she was under the other judge, Judge Clark. I went in front of Green or whatever his name was, gave him a thousand cash, established a child for payment, went out. Six weeks later, I have a suspension license notice and fucking my payment jacked up a hundred a fucking month. What happened tonight over there? Over where? You keep asking me that. What happened up there? I don't know what the fuck happened. I blacked the fuck out. Do you know what, what you got there or who was there when you got there? I couldn't tell you nothing. I want to see my old lady tell her I want to see my fucking kids. Did she meet at the door? Mm-hmm. And she wouldn't let you in? Listen, I want to go to a jail cell. I don't want to sit here no more. All right. When you got up there, you want to uh, You can just set it on the table, please. Some my business card. Just you asked me another question about when I got there. I'm gonna spit on you. Please. All right. Don't ask me again. I don't know what the fuck happened. I blocked the fuck out. Why don't you go ask her what the fuck happened? Calling my house all fucking weekend with two fucking court orders. Rubbing me out like a fucking cigarette butt. You get what I'm saying? When a woman snaps you, she did it all. I did nothing, stayed away for two fucking years. I don't come around the fucking bitch. Everything blew up at once. I got the call from Warren saying there was a warrant out. I get a call, I talk to my sister. Everybody's fucking like playing a game with me. I haven't eaten two fucking days. I, I just fucking feel like I'm tripping right now, man. My emotions are fucked up. I wanted to see my girls. I wanted to get my hog on Christmas. I love you. Daddy loves you. It ain't that I don't want to see you. I can't. I got the court orders. And she keeps lying to him. She did me right up this broad so she could be an alcoholic.
You made reference to your apartment in Schenectady. Mm -hmm. Can I have that address, please? What's her name, Cliff? Tina. Can we look it up? Tina yeah, Burns? Tina. Does that have the same last name? Yes, sir. Okay. Is there anybody you wanted to contact for you? No. Any your I friends? Just, I, I don't know what to fucking do. I don't even know any one of you guys. I'm fucking... Uh, I don't go out of my house no more. I feel like I'm fucking crazy. Like, the law is always on my fucking ass. I just... I don't know what to tell you anymore. Where's your apartment at, Cliff? Every day that fucking cunt was calling me up saying she's gonna have me arrested. I kept paying my money. I was afraid to go out of my fucking house. I got a post office box. I'm hiding from society. And today is like I, the P.O. box. It was uh 9026. Was connected to New York? No, it was in this unit. I went to the police station. I remember that two times this weekend and asked them to have her arrested for. I have a court order. I can't go around my fucking kids. The cunt kept calling me. I have several messages on my voicemail. You went down there, Cliff? Down the police station down there? Or? Yeah. Okay. They tell you they couldn't do nothing because it didn't no, happen down there? No, she had the order against me. And I played them the messages and they kept just doing a fucking incident report. And like, you motherfuckers, take it to family court, take it to family court, take it to family court. I did that. 13 grand. Which PD? This uh, the police department. Which are your part it's like I can't live my fucking life and stay the fuck. I can't even go the fuck out. Take my kids. Take every fucking thing I got, man. Your apartment's on Union Street? Yeah, it's on fucking Union Street. I don't know where the fuck out it is. It's Union, though, right? It's not in Schenectady? It's mm -hmm. fucking in Schenectady, in this unit on the border. I didn't even know if it was in this unit. I kept going there because I worked for the schools, I worked for the cops, I worked for everybody. You think a man would fucking help you out? The woman calls me every fucking day, threatening me and telling me this and that. I can't see my kids. And she's fucking another man of my money. What number is she calling you at? I got two numbers that come into my cell phone, 701-6346 and my old business number. I've had for 15, 16 years, 7850456. Which one is she calling you on, both? Or? She calls me, I don't know, because they both just come in the ring. I married for 15 years, I'm not divorced. Can you loosen this up? I'm, my whole hand's cut up, you guys. Just a tiny little, one little click. I ain't going nowhere, I ain't done it. I'm sure the power, I'm okay. done, you guys. If you think I would've came here, I could've went in the fucking mountains. Alright. As long as you relax, I'll be relaxed. Alright? I'm relaxed, cool. I don't even fucking, everything's fine. I just, you guys, it ain't fine. I asked the fucking, I went to a shrink and everything. When a woman does, I told her, please, it's all, leave me alone. Just leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. You got everything I own. You got my house coming. You got my fucking business. You got my fucking kids. But what fucking hurts me is I always want to see my babies, man. That's all I want to do is just hold my two little girls tonight. When you got to the house tonight, Clifford, what, what happened when you got up there? I don't even know what the fuck happened. I blacked the fuck out. I don't even know how I fucking got there. Do you remember? I feel like I'm on drugs. I never did a drug in my life. My my stairs, I'm, I'm all fucked up. I can't sleep no more. I go days without sleeping because I'm worried the cops are going to kick my fucking door in. She fucking, fucking, I don't even know what to tell you. Can't you live for free on this fucking planet? This one every fucking day and something. I stayed away. I don't go to fuck out. 
I can't take it no more. I fucking lost it. I don't even know how the fuck I got up here. I ain't got no gas in my fucking car. I'm down to no money. I got no fucking food. I don't know what she's want me to do when I got a lady by the way me on fucking Christmas Eve. And I don't even see the kids. I just fucking cry. I don't know anymore. What the fuck do you want out of me, you stupid motherfuckers? I can't take it. Put me in the jail cell. I'll give her I don't care no more. I lost everything as a man. I don't even know what the fuck I did tonight. Next thing you know, I'm on my way to the Warren chair. like I'm going to file a petition. I'm just lost. I don't even fucking know. Cliff, you told me you went to see your kids. You get to see them tonight? I didn't even know. I didn't see my kids. Why is that, Cliff? Because the fucking broad don't let me see him. She took me out of her life with a court order for another man, and I lost everything. I just pay, 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 pay. I don't go out. I'm scared to go out of my house. Ask anybody in an apartment building. I never leave unless I get a business call to go make money to keep you motherfuckers from knocking at my door and put me in jail anyway. I give the fuck up. I give up. I give up. I give up. I don't even have a I don't have a conversation with somebody anymore. I can't take it. I can't take it. You win. It's over. You win. Put me in jail. That's what you want. I pay. I pay, 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 pay. That's all I do. I'm a nigger, man. Is my skin fucking black? I have no food. My kids, the 250 a week were telling me she drinks it all up, they ain't even eating. And there's nothing I can do, I filed all the petitions, I did everything in your phony little world and I got it shoved up my ass. Did she not let you in tonight? I don't know what the fuck happened, I don't even know. You keep asking me, I don't fucking know, I brought the fuck out like I'm an alcoholic. What, what part of the night do you remember, Cliff? I remember getting a heated argument with my sister on the phone, and her telling me she's seeing my kids and she's best friends with my ex-wife after she just went through a trial and hated her fucking guts. I got an argument with my sister like two months ago with my brothers, I don't even remember. And the next thing I know, everybody's turning on me because I just went to my apartment. I don't bother nobody anymore. I don't talk to anybody. I have no fucking friends. I lost my whole life over this bitch. My kids, everything is gone. I don't even know what the fucking tell you is no more. Did, I just, did Tina call you today? I called her up when my lawyer called me. And he said I had a warrant going out for my arrest. They wanted to know my address. They were coming on Christmas fucking Eve for two child support fucking payments. I don't even fucking get it. I've gone three fucking years without fucking no contact. I don't want nothing to do with the bitch. I don't even know what to do. I don't know what to do no more. I lost my kids. Every fucking thing I fucking work for in my bare hands is gone. And she still wants more. It's like she's bought a cigarette out on me. Calls up for a fucking court order a whole fucking weekend. I go to the police station and file two fucking things. We're doing nothing. We're doing nothing. And you're going to ask me two fucking questions, motherfucker. You punk ass motherfucker. I hate you motherfuckers. What a fucking passion I should have did my real mission. Sit down. I got you a fucking break tonight, motherfucker. We appreciate it. I already told you. Do you that. fucking appreciate it? You think you're gonna run with me through the mountains, motherfucker? Said, you wanna have a drop of the for me? We covered that, man. We talked earlier about that. And we said thank you. You did the right thing. There's no reason to keep, you know. But this cocksucker was there tonight, the gunshots went off. And you come in here and I go, Did you do this to Teddy Brackish, you fucking punk? And I told you I was. I you was coward, honest. you're a fucking coward. coward. No. No. You're honest, but your charges weren't honest. You gave me, you asked me. No, fuck you. When an illegal handgun goes in the apartment complex and discharge, it's felonies. And I 
I told you I had nothing to do with the charging. I, you asked How much do you like a fucking pretzel? Both of you, if I have these cucks on. I am a martial. I'll put my fucking boot right up to your fucking side of your fucking head. Listen, come on. You snap me, motherfucker. Boy, is. I just wanted to be left alone. I fucking stayed in my apartment. And I can't even live my fucking life. On a fucking Christmas, you're putting a warrant out. You coward ass motherfuckers. I just wanted my babies in my life. I did every fucking thing. I begged them to go to this unit of schools. There's no schooling up here. There's nothing. There's no programs. There's nothing, you guys. But there's a lot of booze and alcohol and fucking cocksucking going on. Go over to Melvin Mays. I called you up to Warren Sheriff to go over to her house this weekend. You did fucking nothing. She was out driving her car drunk. You did nothing. You never do nothing. You're fucking cowards. Don't look at me because you know what the fuck you are. Okay. How are you feeling that way? How am I not feeling that way? I, I tried for three years for you to help me. The guy shoots the house up with a gun, you do nothing. My little babies are there. This fucking bitch, I can't even live my fucking life. Do you know what it is? To work for a family your whole fucking life and can't even go the fuck out of your house and you lose everything? I did nothing. I sit in my apartment all day, I can't even, I watch the TV and I don't even know what I'm focused on, I'm focused on filing petitions, filing petitions, filing petitions, trying to get my babies out of that unsafe situation there. My daughter's 16, staying at another guy's house, she lost her cherry, are you going to fucking tell me I can't have the guy arrested, the mother condones it. And then the other mother where the kids going to condones them, but they're all alcoholics, they don't give a fuck as long as they got their fix, their beer bottle. Well, I'll tell you what the fuck. You bring my children up now, do a good job for it. I don't give a fuck because they're out of her fucking care now. I snapped. I don't even know what the fuck I'm doing. I just wanted to see my fucking babies, man. I'm asking you if you have any fucking heart at all. You have kids. Do you know what I'm going through? This bitch took me right out of their life with the phony court order. I never did nothing wrong. I work, I work, I work. I can only take so much. I fucking can't do it no more. I can't even go out of my fucking house. I feel like I'm fucking mentally fucking insane. I don't even have to have a conversation with anybody anymore. I go into a store and I'm like scared to death because I got all this fucking emotional baggage on me. Fucking court, family court, no visitation, this and that, this and that, this and that. I don't even know what the fuck to tell you anymore. I fucking went to a counselor. He told me, I talked to him. You're doing the right thing, stay away from her. She'll never change. You go back with her, what the fuck? She'll only drink and fuck over you again. She did it four years ago. I spent all kinds of money. I took the fucking bitch back because I love my children. It's all I worry about is my little babies. That's it. God fucking strike me dead. Strike me fucking dead, motherfucker. You put the devil on my shoulder and you put him on the other fucking side. Strike me fucking dead. I don't even give a fuck. Kill me. Put a bullet in me right now. Put a fucking bullet in me. Let's blow my fucking head off right now. Take the night out and put one in me. Just fucking end it. I should have pretend I had a gun out there. I thought about it all the way. I don't want to live no more. You took every fucking thing from me, you cowardly little cocksuckers, and it started last year with the back of Christ. Let's You know what the fuck I'm doing? I tried to save what little I had left. The bitch took everything, my fucking house, my fucking kids. I look out at my little possessions. I got a dump truck and a chipper to make money. I got a motorcycle and a car that I work my ass off for. I'm losing that too because I don't have the money anymore. It's the money, 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 the money. It's all fucking money, any of you motherfuckers. You got your plus job. You don't know what the fucking recession is. You ever felt the pinch of the economy? You ever got a stop paycheck, motherfucker? 
I used to make 150000 a fucking year. In the last seven years, it's gone down, 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 down. And I take it. I can't support my family. I fucking don't even know what to do. That's been everywhere. The economy sucks. That's been but it ain't the white fascist pig. You never felt it. You never knock out a check. You never knock out a fucking check, both of you. Don't fucking tell me. Don't fucking tell me. And these poor cocksuckers over here, the fat fucking cunt, she gets her fucking check every week and play fucking tag with somebody's life. What am I, a fucking nigger? I'm Irish just like you, you motherfucker. I go out, I hire the best Irish lawyer. The cocksucker, the judge, teaches law school at fucking Siena. And fucking his kid just passed the bar 21, his brother's a DA of Schenectady. Every fucking time they go in there, you got money for me. I don't even got a high school diploma. I gave you 13 fucking thousand. What the fuck you want from me, motherfucker? I can't take it. I feel like I'm crazy. I sit in my fucking household and I can't go out. I get a warrant put out on fucking Christmas. I didn't want to see my kids. I wanted to give them all my daddy loves it. I can't give you nothing. This shit. I ain't got nothing. I give it to you for 250 a fucking week. And she don't let me see it. They called my fucking phone up telling me all kinds of fucking shit. Fucking a month ago, come and fuck me with two court orders so I get ready. She went in my house right in Luzerne with the Supreme Court to this is fucking... I tried! I tried! I called you to this, you tried and you let me down, you fucking bastards! I fucking... I can't take it no more. I can't fucking take it. I asked you for fucking help. I asked everybody for help. Give us a thousand dollars. Give me two thousand dollars. We'll take care of it. You go home and sit. As they go to fuck home to their million dollar fucking houses driving their beamers. I'm a working class fucking man. That's all I am, a working slob that got tied up with a fucking stripper. She gave me two beautiful children. I stayed away. I said, fuck it. I'm gonna go to jail. That's all that's ever on my mind, going to fucking jail. Is that living your fucking life when you pay the fucking taxes? Five thousand dollars they send in the fucking spring to the government cocksuckers. What am I paying for the bombs? To drop them on cars? To pay for the gas? Thought about calling my shrimp this week. I should have called that guy. He wants $150 to go in there and fucking sit for 30 minutes and tell him the same shit I'm telling you. I need to fucking help. I need to see my kids. I can't take it no more. And then really what flared it up is my fucking sister and then my kid on her fucking email telling me fucking my other daughter is out fucking at 16 years old. I never let my kids do that shit. I had them in bed at 10 o'clock at night with their homework. A nice little fucking life. I did everything right, picket fucking fence, and I got it shoved up my ass because I went to a strip club and married a stripper. I fell in love with the bitch. She got knocked up. I was married in six months. Fourteen months apart, my kids. Irish fucking twins. I don't know what to tell you. But I know as men, if you motherfuckers ever had your kids fucking fucking sleeping around at 16 and never even going to fuck home, how would you take it? Answer the fucking question. You want to fucking kill the cocksucker. But I can't do nothing. I don't even know where the fuck they're going. don't even know whose house they're at. But the demon seeds right there, the devil. The fucking devil, the stripper. That's who it was. That's what made me fucking fucking flip. The devil in her own right. Say that on your thing. She's a fucking stripper and a devil that plays men. Look at back it's new her six months and shot the fucking house up in the room. Then you were here fucking telling me? You motherfuckers, you know what's going the fuck on, don't you? You're like a coward little bitch is what you are, because you know the whole fucking story and you're sitting here playing your shit. I watch your shit on TV every fucking night. The first 48. Will this man turn himself right the fuck in? What are you waiting for, the murder charge to come in? Is the fucking bitch breathing? 
I fucking lost it. I don't know what to tell you. Today was the last fucking straw. All right? Do you remember anything about what happened when you got I don't remember a fucking thing. You ask me again, I'm going to put my fucking foot through your fucking head. I want my fucking lawyer. Do you understand? Do I have to tell you in English? Get me a fucking lawyer. I don't care who the fuck you get. I'm not answering none of your fucking questions. I'm done. And I'm not signing none. Do you want to fucking stand me, motherfucker? Who's your lawyer? Who you want? Paul Dwyer. 432-5988. I don't know his cell phone. You ain't getting him tonight anyways. Oh, yeah. Boarding service? He ain't got shit. That's the highest paced crook I ever fucking... I told him I was turning his ass into the bar association today. Uh, how do you spell his last name? Dwyer. D-W-Y-E-R. That's your return? That's who you want? No, I really don't want him because I can't even fucking stand him. Listen, do whatever the fuck you want with me. I got a phone here if you want to call How am I going to fucking call him? I don't want to talk to nobody. I threw the towel in on my life. I want to go to a fucking jail cell and start my life. Where am I going? Attica? I don't give a fuck. I'm going right with the Aryan Brotherhood, and I'm going to live the rest of my life in prison. I decided that. In my mind, it's over with. Fuck your trial. Fuck all your fucking shit. Here's the thing is, I should have been a cop. Kick myself in the ass for fucking my whole life up. And what do I do? I try to do the white picket fucking fence thing, and I married a stripper. I just, I destroyed my own life. This bitch got off on humiliating me. Taking my kids out of my life, putting court orders on me to cover up her drinking and running around with this fucking little piss ant punk. That was my one mission. I wanted to kill that motherfucker. I'll tell you straight out, Teddy Bacchus. I wanted him. He's disappeared. Is he in jail? I, I have no idea where he is. Run his fucking name. Stop playing fucking games. I don't know where he is. I don't know where he's at. You don't know where he's at? No. Bet you his brothers do, though, don't they? They out hunting last month? I have no idea what they do. Do you know any man in fucking fucking... I don't know what to tell you. I can't get that shit off my mind how disgusting it is. When there's children in an apartment building and you dislodge a firearm, they're felonies across the board. You keep fucking telling me that they ain't, and I want to punch your fucking face in. Did you, hear me? did you hear me say Well, then why did you? You were there. I told, I told you. You were that. fucking there. Wasn't That's what you said the wrong thing to me. You were there. I, but you had, and I gave you an honest answer. Right. You, you said, let them handle it. But when there's 40 fucking cops here in a SWAT team, the guy gets no felonies? Come on. You're an intelligent motherfucker. I know you kick ass. You're military and everything. I can tell this by the way you stand and present yourself. You telling me my charges? They're fucking, his charges weren't fucking uh, felonies? I'm not saying they were. No, you know they were. But you put them on because you're a rookie. I understand it. Them two, how long they been here? I heard one brother's a piss ant and one's way up in the fucking thing. All right? Charges got rigged. Case closed. Don't want to hear another fucking thing. It was the beginning of the end for me. My whole life has fallen apart in the last two fucking years. And I keep telling her, leave me alone. Leave me alone. I, I wrote the kids off. I wrote her off. I didn't go the fuck around. Today I'm being threatened with arrest again. I can't take it no more. I couldn't fucking take it. I don't even know what the fuck. Where the fuck am I right now? I don't even know what the fuck. I'm fucking out of my fucking mind. There's a phone right here if you want really? to wire. Really? Maybe, maybe fucking that's the reason why I could never get my kids. They saw she was sane and I was insane for working every fucking day and providing. But they could take 250 a week out of your pocket. You can't be insane to make them fucking deals.
Go ahead, throw up. I'm not killing with you guys. Here, it's nasty right here. I'm, I'm fucking, I got heat to ashes right now. Here, here's a can for you, okay? You need a glass of water or something, Cliff, or? I haven't eaten in two fucking days. I'm self-employed. I will never ask anybody. I'm, I got Irish pride. I, I will die in my apartment. I'm man. asking you. You want me to get you a glass of water? Does that help if you? You could. Sure. Thank you, God. You want this guy's phone number, Cliff? This trial? No, I'm not going to call him on Christmas. Now, there's nothing going to happen. What am I going to call him? Are you going to get it in three days? Anything else? You good right now? See if that settles your stomach. I have my cigarettes, there. man. I don't smoke, where I get you some. No, they were in my shirt or in my shit. I don't even know. I, I, I came Where's here. That? This is what I... I came here and I started stripping outside. I didn't even know what the fuck I was doing. They were in your coat? Were they in your I, I, I think that I left them out there in my shirt or my thing. I, I, I was taking my clothes off. I'm having hot flashes. I don't even know what the fuck. Okay. Maybe we'll, then drink a little water, and it might settle your stomach a little bit. Take some deep breaths, relax. There ain't no settle in my stomach. I want you to take that gun and put a bullet in me right now. No, How do I have to accomplish that mission? That's not what we're about, Cliff. I went to see my kids tonight. I don't even know what the fuck I am doing. I don't... Where's my babies? Do your kids live in your your old house still? I don't know where the fuck they're living. One's living at one kid's house and one lives home but's never there. It's over to babysitter's house. They say they're never home. They can't take the mother. That she's always drunk. I don't know anything anymore. You get my... My kids are ripped out of my life. This has been a three-year haul, you guys. I can't get nothing done. I, I've spent thousands of dollars. Today, I get the call. I'm fucking going to jail for two missed fucking payments. I thought he only had to pay once a month, or you could do that every week. They said he couldn't even violate me. Can't call my lawyer looking for my address to send a car down for my warrant for my arrest. I'm fucking Christmas. I don't even see the fucking kids. flashbacks. I, I, I go to fucking Supreme Court, the fucking cunt. It's fucking the middle of the winter out. Comes in with a pair of spandex and a tank top on. Everybody's looking at her like she's fucking crazy. She's a stripper. Don't you get it? I made the worst decision in my fucking life. The fucking cunt. I had two kids with her. What am I supposed to do? Abandon the ship? Five years ago, I had everything. I was getting the kids, the fucking house, all of it. I took her back. I, I, the day of Supreme Court, too, my lawyer told me I was fucking crazy. I remember things. And it's like every day is all I keep doing, hashing it in my mind, hashing it in my mind.
I'm thrown out of my own town. I can't even go in Warren County. I love it here. I'm a mountain man. I'll take you to beautiful fishing holes from here all the way to 25 on screw. That's what I do. I sit in the wilderness by my smell, my fucking self. She said she didn't need my money no more. I was boring. And Mary's a fucking, goes with a fucking total drunk. Ask his own brothers about him. He's the misfit. Arts and charges all kinds of shit. I was told by fucking the Zoobles. The guy's a piece of fucking shit. I can't, I can't do it no more. I threw away everything tonight. You know why? Because I'd rather see my fucking kids brought up in a home when they're 18 fucking be able to at least have some. Because they're going nowhere fucking now in life. You don't understand my little babies. They look just like their mother. They're like two gorgeous little, they look like strippers the way their hair is dressed. The mother's got them dressed like fucking strippers. I rid the devil of the fucking planet. Because I'm done with it. When you get fucked, I stay in my apartment. I, I tell myself, I got the angel on one side and the devil. Hang in there. Stay there. Everything's going to be all right. Hang in there. Stay there. Keep shelling out money. Keep shelling out money. Go to work. Shell out the money. Oh, the lawyer's calling. He needs a thousand. Up, oh, child support. Where's your food? Weigh 190 fucking pounds. I'm down to 150 fucking pounds. What the fuck? Am I going to get out of collect welfare? I never get it. If you're a nigger driving a Mercedes, you can pull up and get welfare. When you're a white guy, you can walk in with holes, you ain't get nothing. I'm so fucking miserable, I just, I, I, I go to a store, a girl smiles at me. I'm 47, I had everything going for me, business, everything, I, I, I can't do it. I can't bring a woman into my pain. I'm in a world of fucking pain. I can't even live anymore. I'm on a mission. It ain't from God. Apparently the devil took my fucking soul. You look at my babies, man. They're fucking beautiful. My girls are beautiful. I ain't even got a fucking picture to show you of my two kids. This world is fucking corrupt, man. I don't even know what to fucking tell you. It's Christmas Eve. Look at you're here dealing with some fucking whack job. Hey, I'm a fucking whack job. I don't even know what to say anymore, man. I have these... One minute I'm there, the next minute I'm like in the O's. I don't even know what to fucking tell you. I've been done wrong. I've been grinded by a stripper. I've been betrayed to the ultimate betrayal. Betray. Then you play the fucking kids against somebody? The kids got nothing to do with it. They're my babies. You want my money, but you don't want me to see my kids because they'll tell me you're out being a fucking pig? The whole fucking corrupt thing about it is, you can ask all these lawyers, shrinks, courts, for a guy who don't fucking care. I've been to a fucking trial before. The guy shoots the house up at the guns, his trial's in family court backwards. They want to prove we're fucking guilty. The motherfucker. You're piece of shit, my fucking eye. You're lucky! When they put the court order on me, they said all my guns had to go. I got rid of every fucking one of them. Alright? Motherfucker, you'll never find them. My favorite's the AK fucking 47 with a 30 round mag. Two of them taped together. I carry 10 of them. I used to go on the mountain all fucking day just popping my rounds. In full fucking camo. All for the fucking, who the fuck knows? Every one of these countries are fucking rioting. Protect your family. Do the right fucking thing. How many fucking guns you got? You must have a ton in your house, brother. My best friend's the sheriff up here. I took him fucking fishing. I feel like a fucking scumbag. 
They all know it. Stay away. Stay away. There's nothing you can fucking do. I did everything. But when the bitch keeps calling you and I try to have her arrested, I don't have no rights. I got no fucking rights. Just pay my money and work for you fucking niggers. I was talking to somebody. This guy, he was good. Dr. David fucking Brown. But I can't afford it. My con work for St. fucking Peter's. Gets rid of the medical benefits. Next thing I know, I'm divorced. Not divorced, but you know, court orders the whole fucking nine. I have nothing. I got fucking cancer right now. I have an operation. You want me to show you? I got a huge lump on my arm. Here, here's fucking. Look at that cut out of me. All the way to fuck down. Hereditary from my fucking father. I'm floating around. I can't even afford my I can't even go to the fucking doctors, but I can pay two fifty a week child support and all these lawyer fucking bills and all the shit. Can't see my fucking kids though. But it all tempered down to Teddy Bacchus, the gunshots and the court order she put against me. She was real slick. But she did she's so fucking stupid, she was a stripper. He put her up to every fucking thing. For a man to go in the house that was the board six months and to shoot it up and beat the fuck out of her, there's a problem. Maybe it's the broad. Does everybody see it's the fucking broad? That dude went there to kill her that night with the gun. What man brings a loaded handgun to a fucking house? He went to kill her. Because she plays stripper games all about the fucking sex. What the fuck are we waiting for? Will you bring me to the fucking fucking lockup and put me in my jail cell so I can go to fucking sleep, do something? Feel good. You want your basket back? I don't want the basket. Okay. I want a bullet. You got the balls? Please put one in my fucking head. Okay. The investigator told you it's not what we're about, but I asked for help. They just want your money. And now this fucking black nigger president with his fucking shit about medical benefits, he's such a fucking scumbag and ain't even funny. Does he go down to Dublin, Georgia? He ain't got the balls to go to deep south, that motherfucker. We're white here. We're all Irish. He's nothing but a piece of shit. He can't keep the smile off his fucking face. That's my whole problem. I let my Irish pride fucking... I got in family court. I ran my mouth. Because I was pissed that there was even a consideration to let that little baby stay with that fucking whore. And what she does is she keeps like a cigarette butt. She keeps putting it on me doing this and doing this. Finally, I'm afraid to go out of my house. I don't go out of my house ever. I don't do nothing. I can't even carry a fucking conversation out with somebody. This is like, I've been waiting to tell this. I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to do anymore. I just, I don't even know what to do. I gave up on life. I can't fucking live my life. This is the land of the free, the home of the fucking brave. The American dream's gone. If you don't have a politician job or governmental, everybody's feeling it. Being self-employed, I have 15 friends that have roofing, masons, plumbers, electricians. They're barely living. Five years ago, we all had brand new dump trucks. I had two of them. $50,000 fucking Fords. I fucked up, man. I, 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 I wish I did my military career and, and fucking got out and become a cop. I fucking, I don't even know what to tell you. I, I just don't even know what to do. 
When you're born to work, I have four tree services in my family. Every one of the four are struggling. I, I don't even like to go climb for anybody else. I want the full thousand, not the fucking two hundred to risk my life and take a tree on over somebody's house, tie the fucking knot, cut them ranch, grab power line. Fuck that, I'm done with it. I can't even fucking believe it. My mother died four years ago. It was when I was divorcing the bitch the first time. I think it put her in the thing because I was stressed the fuck out. I go home over my mother's town. I don't even know what to fucking do. I can't take it. I got these kids. Bah, 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 bah. Next thing I know, she's in the hospital. She's 70 years old. She smoked a lot. She gets a trach in her mouth. Scribbles me a message. She died that night. I spent three months going to the hospital every night. But I was away from my wife. I finally had a relationship with my mother, she told me, and I promised her on her deathbed I would never go back to that fucking skank. This skank has pulled the wool over everybody's fucking eyes. I met her in a fucking strip club. She takes her fucking clothes off her men. The car was in shenanigans. It's like it's all I can think about. It's all that's on my fucking mind is this stupid bitch. This bitch, it's every fucking day. I can't even meet a new woman. Because I start talking about my fucking divorce and this fucking cunt and how she's fucked me and betrayed me and take my kids from me. And I work every fucking day. I can't fucking take it. I don't call her. She calls all fucking week and I go to the police and come. I file two incident reports. They do nothing. 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 Well, fuck her. It's done now. Ain't it, motherfucker? I'm a fucking coward is what the fuck I am now. My kids hate me now. And it was all over because I loved them. You sit there stupid. You started the trigger effect on me, motherfucker. You put me in my fucking house with a loaded handgun and shot a hole through a fucking cell in my door ten yards away. And it was covered up by the mother. It was all covered up till I brought the trial out. I can't live no more. Give me the package, brothers. Bring him in one on one. Just fuck him. Strip me down. I'll fight him naked. Bring both them coward motherfuckers in. I guarantee on my life I fucked their faces up. Because I dreamed about it. I wake up in the middle of the night in a cold sweat. It was deeper than what fucking goes on. I wanted to have an all out war with you motherfuckers. All the fuck out. Wouldn't have been pretty now, would it have? No, sir. Because I would have been done, but I'll tell you what. More than one of you. You did this. You've ruined my fucking life. And I asked for your fucking help. Two of your cocksuckers went to the fucking trial. Told the fucking judge. Bang. But the dude, I don't know what the fuck. I don't know. I don't. The law is corrupt in New York. There's no doubt about it. From the judges to the lawyers. Cuomo's got a special team in now for some of the fucking counties. The corruptness. You got ten grand, everything's under the rug. When you're a hard-working slob and you're white, they got to have at least one or two white guys that they fuck over to make it look like it's a fair court. Can't take it no more. I fucking can't take it. I fucking hate cops. I fucking hate all of you. I got two cousins of the cops. I go to a family shindig. I haven't been one in years, but I picked their brain right apart. Right apart. What's this? What's that? What's that? What's this? Because I know I live like an outlaw. I'm a fucking hell's angel. I roll cross country to hell's angels. This you want to know? We're bad motherfuckers. Got out. Started my life over. Family fucking man. And get it shoved up my fucking ass by a stripper. Ever since that nigger O.J. Simpson, a man don't have no rights. He has nothing. Nothing. You guys haven't said a word in 20 minutes because every fucking thing I'm telling you is the fucking truth. You're looking at me like I'm crazy, but I got some fucking... 
I don't know. I think about it every fucking day. I sit in my chair like this. I can't even watch TV because I've been fucked over and everything's taken from me and they still want to take that fucking cunt over there to put a warrant out on fucking Christmas Eve and call my lawyer. She's out of her fucking mind. Couldn't eat no more. I can't sleep no more. This whole shit of this divorce and my kids and everything and losing everything after I worked my whole life. I'm a man. Okay? I did the best I could and I got it shoved in my fucking face and I walk away because I don't want to fucking... because I don't want to fucking go to jail and look at what fucking happens. She called me all fucking weekend at one, two, three. She calls in the middle of the night when she's drunk. When Where's her cock? I don't fucking know. Leave me the fuck alone. Three fucking years. I had the court order. I don't go around her. Look at everything. I ask people to look at this whole situation. They don't. They shut their book and go home. Christmas Eve tonight. Where are you going? You're going home to your kids, aren't you? I ain't going home to fucking shit. I lost everything. What's the fucking difference if I sit in a one-room apartment with no food or you guys support me? Put me in fucking jail. I ask you to bring me to fucking jail. I don't want to live in society no more. I lost every fucking thing. I give up. You got what the fuck you wanted. All right? I throw the fucking towel in. I can't do this, man. I, 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 I'm fucking, I'm freaking out. I'm fucking, I lost it. I'm all done. I go through times now, I pay my support, I don't buy no food. How would you do it? If you're sitting home and you have no food, you can't go to the state of New York, what do you do? I don't have no family, I don't have nothing. My sister's a single fucking parent with a kid. She meets this guy on a computer, flies out of country, gets pregnant, they tell her you're an American. You know where the Black Sabbath is from, the rock band, where the fuck is it? Next thing I know, she's on a plane, she comes back. Well, who the fuck helps her take care of her kid? I fucking do. That's why we got in an argument. She called me up on Friday and needed $250 because the cunt forgot her fucking insurance payment. I said Monday, come and get it at noon. She calls me on Monday morning and calls me a fucking scumbag and says I won't give her the fucking money. I didn't even get the mail yet to get the fucking check I had coming in. I haven't talked to her. Today was the first time I told her to... I have nobody to fucking protect my assets. I call her up to tell her, listen, they got a warrant out for my arrest, supposedly to come today. I need you to fucking lock down my fucking shit. Can I put my shit in your driveway? Because, you know, when you get go to jail, the landlord comes in and they take all your fucking shit because you didn't pay your bill. Well, I got a 30 some thousand dollar Texas chopper in the garage. I got the Camaro. All my tree equipment, thousands and fucking thousands in chainsaws. And I have nobody to protect my back. I married this fucking bitch, and what does she do? Reach my benefits to give it to some fat fucking cocksucker, the black sheep of his family. That fucking nigger never paid a dime in his life. He's living above a bar room. That's where he was living. Driving a 1993 beat-up white pickup. Comes in the parking lot. 
I pulled my shirt off. I would have fucked him up that day. He drove right out of the parking lot. My kid jumped out. Dad, dad, don't, don't, don't. It ain't worth it. It wasn't worth it. I leave people alone. I don't fucking bother anybody. I get kicked in the fucking teeth on Christmas. I can't do it no more. I'm going to tell you how I feel. This week I called the one at Digest Up. I put everything in. I wanted springtime to get here. I was going to sell everything, buy an on off road dirt bike, and go right up into the fucking bear slides and go about 50 miles into the Adirondack Mountains and build my cabin and my shelter and bring two weapons, a 30 30 and a bow and arrow. I'd survive like that for the rest of my life. Done. Never come out again, never pay child support. Maybe in five or ten years I'm going to come out with a beer just to see how the kids were doing. I left this woman alone. I never fucking dealt with her, touched with her, and she couldn't get it through her head. She couldn't leave me to fuck alone. I go to the police station, call the Michigan the police right now, and ask if I went there and filed two incident reports and one a month ago. Do I have any fucking rights? I lost my family, my kids, my every fucking thing. I don't even know what I should have did. Should I have drove all the way up there to the police station and just said, listen, put me in fucking jail. You would have said, why? Because I don't want to live in society no more. Everybody telling you. Everybody fucking telling you. Everybody, everybody you talk to has a different opinion about everything, but I live it. I lived it. I fucking worked my whole life to start a business, buy a house, to bring beautiful children up. I never seen this coming. This fucking broad is a stripper. She fucked me over. She fucking court orders the whole fucking night. Calls me up. I keep hanging up on her. This has been going on for a year. I don't want nothing to do with you. I'm done. Second time. Fuck me once, twice, whatever. But on Christmas time? It's like she pushed me and pushed and pushed and pushed and pushed and pushed. I couldn't even see my kids. I snapped. My sister had me so fucking livid. She's giving my sister visitation, but I can't go see my kids. She tells my sister, she, I, I can't go a mile over and see my kids at my sister's. When I found the fuck out my kids were visiting her, I wanted to fucking kill. Straight the fuck out. I don't even know what the fuck I'm doing anymore. I don't even want to answer my phone anymore. I let every fucking message. She calls up and pushes block call. If I answer it, there's a fucking two court orders. One's a five-year court order. I go to jail. She's trying to set me up. She won't let me live my fucking life. I don't even know what to do anymore. I have to fucking God. I just don't even know what to do. I don't want to live. I thought about blowing my own fucking head off. This brought us to like the devil. I wish you would even... I wish I could have talked to Teddy Backus. To know what went through his mind to bring a loaded handgun after only being with her, what, four and a half, five months? You know what I'm saying? All I want to do is just give my babies a little hug tonight. Every month in a blue moon, I'll get a call or an email from them. I don't even know what my kids look like anymore. That's how long it's been. But I pay and I pay and I pay and I pay and I pay. You know what I'm saying? to go out of my house, man. I just, I don't know what it is with me anymore. I used to have a lust for life. 
Okay. Ain't nothing like getting up at fucking five in the morning and seeing the sun come off the top of the mountains and you're in a brook stream fucking hunting for brook trout. Go back to the campsite at 10 in the morning, trout and eggs right over the fucking thing. That's a white man. That's Irish, brother. You know the Irish? There were a pile of fucking lures made from Ireland. You know what I'm saying? You know anything about fishing, bro? A little bit. Not as much as you do, I'm sure. But I'm telling you, it's just like... It's the biggest stress reliever on the planet. You go up in the mountains, you hear nobody, no civilization, no little piss ants fucking telling you what to do. That's what I enjoy. That's all I want to do. This year was the first year I didn't fish. I didn't do nothing. I sat in my house. It's like I mentally fucking worked over worrying about lures, divorces in the house, and, and assets, and this and that. Three fucking years, the cocksucker's been dragging it on. To the point, I sit in my house, I watch TV, I'm watching a show. And the next minute I'm in space thinking about how I've been trading all my fucking life's all fucked up. And I did nothing to work. I just worked and worked and worked. She said, I didn't need your money anymore. You're boring. Your shit is so worn into me. I think about it every fucking time. She can have it all, because I don't give a fuck. I'm done. But I am a fucking coward because I love my children. I threw the towel on my fucking children. But you know when you just, like, I drive up to Warren County, there's other, the other dudes driving around the pickup truck with my old lady and my kids, and I work to pay for everything, and this guy ain't got a pot to piss in. All he does is bring the alcohol there at 4 o'clock when she gets out of work. I get so overwhelmed on this shit, I start losing my breath and my oxygen and everything, and I just get all emotionally all fucked up. I can't function in society. I, can't, I just don't even know what to fucking do anymore. I have no friends. I can't collect welfare. I can't do nothing. I'm fucking done. This bitch has emotionally fucked me in the fucking head, and I did everything right, and I can't do nothing. I can't win. Christmas Eve, and they're calling my lawyer for two payments, telling him there's a warrant going out for his arrest. Where does he live? I got a fucking apartment in a post office box, and I don't want people bothering me anymore. There's a Jakey bum downstairs for me. You want to laugh? I have such a fucking kind heart, the cocksucker ain't got none. He gets a check every month, but he's barely living. I bring him up in my apartment. I give this guy my food before I eat. You know what's fucked up about him, too? 17 fucking years married. The bitch did the same thing to him. He's never produced in society again. Collects off the state. It's one thing I know. I never want to collect off the state. If somebody calls for a tree, I force myself to go over to their house and have a conversation. It's like being a jack on a high. Hello, how you doing? Cliff Burns, cutting edge tree service. Like a robot. We really want. I don't even want. You get five prices. We get thirteen hundred a day with the crew. Knocking me down to seven, eight hundred, nine hundred dollars. If they're a working class family, I do the fucking job for them. If they're a white fascist fucking pig, I charge them a full 13, then try to get them for two or three hundred more. This world is all fucked up.
You guys never felt the recession. You checks printed off a fucking computer. The only show that fucking intrudes, intrigues me is Criminal Minds. I watch how the FBI works. The only fucking show I can relate with on TV now is Criminal Minds. I watch it ten times a fucking day. I must be fucking crazy. I must be fucking crazy for what I just happened to me. But you know when a man gets kicked down and kicks like he's sucking a fucking dick. I know what you're so fucking waiting for. I can't sign no statement for I ain't doing nothing and then you got her down to the other place to see if everything's alright or you give me a murder charge. Give me the fucking charge so I can get the fuck in the jail cell, will you please? I ain't fucking retarded. I know everything about your fucking game. It's fucking ridiculous. How I know everything about it, but I can't win in family court. I can't win with nothing. I got my dick dragged in the dirt. I've never been so emotionally fucked in my fucking life. I, get, I just think about this shit every fucking minute of the fucking day. How everything has gone down. Life is a big party for this fucking cunt. Every fucking weekend, drunk as a skunk. A big fucking game. Everything was a big fucking game. And she knows my temper. She deliberately punches my buttons. And there's nothing I can do. I can't go around her. I can't fucking see my kids. I can't do nothing. It's every fucking minute of my life. It's all I fucking think about. I have a conversation with somebody, it's always about asking them questions about divorce, how you do this, how you do that. I have an attorney for that. Cocksucker, every time I call him, all he says is, you got money for me? You got money for me. You got money. Money, 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 money. Money. Everybody wants your fucking money. You know that fucking car out in the parking lot? What's happening with that? So everything's in my name. My kids don't get none of my shit. What's New York State confiscating that now? My fucking car? Here's the only key to my motorcycle, my American Iron Horse. I lost all my keys. I didn't know where the fuck. Did I give you guys my keys or something tonight? my children to have that motorcycle. Please, if you have any white fucking pride for being Irish, yeah. I want my children to have all my stuff, brother. Yeah. Please, man. Please. Yeah. I have nothing to fuck to give back. Nothing in this world. Yeah. I love my babies, man. I wish I could show you a picture. To bring your children up every day and take them home from school. A tragedy happened in my life. When my wife went into a bottle, I couldn't. I, 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 every little thing I did, I tried and I tried and I tried. I begged her to go to counseling. How can you live with somebody for 15 years and love them and take the bottle of alcohol over them? I wanted to call their house today, too, and just say Merry Christmas to my children. They never even fucking called me, because they can't. The mother won't let them have no contact with me. I don't get it. What are we doing right now? 
No, man. No, I don't know. I'm waiting for... They can't get a judge to fucking or something? Does it have to be a... Ra- I don't even know how this goes. I'm, I'm low, man, bud. I'm just waiting. Next order. Did they get my clothes out in the, the walkway? I have no idea, but... Can you put me in a room to smoke a cigarette with my cigarettes? I'm a fucking... I need to smoke. But I ain't gonna be smoking anyways. I quit. I'm going... I don't know. I'm fucking... My whole thing is too, I have nobody to talk to. I am so I, all my emotions and all my shit has been bottled up. Bottled up, bottled up, bottled up, and this fucking tongue kept fucking pushing me and pushing me and pushing me. I tell her, please leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone. Why you gotta call me? Called me at two in the fucking morning. From saying telling me, fuck you, don't worry about me or my sex life or my kids. Then the next time calling I'm saying, come up and fuck me. I don't even get it. I don't get it.
and feel like a fucking loser. At 47 years old, I joined Match.com. I look at all these fucking women. There's thousands of them that just tell their old man they don't want to have a life no more and they're all over the fucking computer. They're like pigs. They're like cockroaches. I, I go out to go to date with them. I can't even focus on saying my name or saying hello because I'm all fucked up. Three years later, I can't even fucking do nothing. I'm on slow. I was losing everything. I can't even work anymore. I can't take it. When a man's kids are ripped out of his life, there's a fucking problem. I need to sleep. I just need to lay down for 10 minutes. Can I put my head down? I don't even know what to do. I just feel like I'm passing out right sure. now. Sure. You want to put your head back on it? Oh, my fucking God. Did he call my lawyer up? I don't know. Did he, did he offer you the, the phone to call him, didn't he? I don't know. I don't even know what the fuck I'm doing. Okay. Yeah, I'm sitting here conversating with you guys. I should be calling my fucking lawyer. I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. I don't give a fuck. he can do for me. Do you want to call him, Cliff? I'm, I'm going to get you his number if you want to call him. Okay, you got, got a garbage number. can or something? Yeah, sure. we do. So um, I'm to to floor. Let me go look up his number for you, okay? Paul Dwyer, attorney, and I'll... I know his number to his office, but you ain't going to get nothing at his office. It's 432-5988. You want to call him? I don't even know what my right... I don't even know what the fuck I'm doing. All I know is you got me cuffed to a fucking desk. What am I here for? What am I fucking doing right now? Do you want to call him? What do I tell him? It's up to you, sir. I'm a, I don't even know why I would call him. I don't have no money for him. I can't pay him no more money. I can't call this fucking guy. It's all about money, 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 money. I can't even fucking call anybody. I have nobody to call. Everything, everybody wants all my fucking money. That's all the fuck they want. I ain't got a pot to piss in and a window to throw it out anymore. I, I have nothing.
Who's that, a package, brother? No, that's uh, Investigator uh, Long. Dude, you got that garbage can? I don't, I don't throw up. I'm telling you, I haven't eaten in days. I don't know what's going to come up. I just, I'm an emotional fucking, I don't feel good. You can't just live like that. I, I, I don't eat for days at a fucking time, but I pay my child support, brother. I'm like a robot. Is that the lawyer calling? He needs more money. I need to give him more money, man. Money, money, money. Stress, pressure. So hire a lawyer to, to fucking protect your rights as a human being. What's a human being? What are you? What are we? We're pieces of fucking shit. This fucking, fucking cunt <coughs> from the support collection unit. Call my lawyer on Christmas Eve. I didn't even know they were working. Are they even fucking working today? This is how much of a hard on. He calls me up. I don't know if they're open today. If it's a regular business. She came in on Saturday. The other paper was dated to fuck me. And then she comes in today, another fucking holiday, to fuck me up in the ass. That fucking no good fucking cunt. You tell her, if I ever knew her fucking face, I would have tore her fucking heart out. The fucking cunt. Motherfucking cunt. Clifford, Patricia's dead. Okay. What? what? She's dead.
Stay away from everybody in my life. Everybody let me down. I don't bother nobody. That fucking cunt over in fucking Warren County? Fuck her. To fucking on Christmas Eve to tell me my fucking... I'm getting a warrant for my arrest. Fuck her, that fucking nigger fucking cunt. Motherfucking cunt. If I could take these things and change... I'd kill her. And her whole fucking family, the motherfucking cunt. Barb, 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 that's all. She fucking started a war, this fucking cunt. Couldn't leave me the fuck alone. I'm behind two fucking weeks. I got everybody fucked. Money, 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 money. It's all money, 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 money. Want my fucking money? How about going my yard and take every fucking thing I work for? You want every fucking thing? Take it, you white fascist fucking nigger pigs. Fucking never bother anybody. Sit in my apartment all fucking day long. Can't even watch fucking TV. Can't have a conversation with nobody. Haven't eaten in two fucking days. I mean, what the fuck? I'm fucking starving. One minute I'm starving. Next minute I get the cold shake. Next minute I'm fucking throwing up. What am I, a fucking drug addict? Never felt like this in my fucking life, man. I feel like I'm tripping on bad acid. Go to a fucking shrink. He won't even talk to me. Got to have 150 fucking dollars. 150, 150. Ask people for fucking help. Nobody wants to help you. Nobody. Nobody. Fucking Christmas Eve. Being told I got a warrant out for my arrest. Warren County Sheriff. So here I am. I deliver myself. I'm not, I don't run for the law. Deliver myself. You want my money? Here. Oh, that's right. I ain't got no fucking money. I fucking feel like I'm a fucking lunatic. I don't even know anymore. I can't even fucking get no more. I lost everything. My business, I, I don't even know how to call them society. I'm going out of my fucking house. I don't even know what to fucking do. What do you want me to fucking do? He took every fucking thing from me. Every fucking thing. Every fucking thing. I have no visitation. My sister's seeing my kids. Nobody tells me. No, it's fucking, I don't even know what to fucking say about it. Ask for fucking help. I'll call you guys up this weekend. Tell you. Do you even know that I called? Do you know anybody go I call? I don't even know. Nobody knows nothing.
Where's the Bacchus Brothers? Can you point me in their fucking direction? Please, can you point me in Bacchus Brothers' direction? Listen up. Fucking coward motherfuckers. Coward motherfuckers. Fucking here over the fucking charges up. He gets fucking... My whole house gets shot the fuck up a gunshot. Can't even fucking sleep at night. Apartment complex with kids home. And unregistered fucking handgun goes in there and shoots it up. You motherfuckers getting misdemeanors so he can still have his fucking hunting license. Goes to my mind every day of my fucking life, motherfucker. You coward Irish punk motherfucker. You fucking punks. Because I can look at you. You're one of the soft Irish. I walk through your fucking blood. Fucking coward. You let the fucking guy shoot the house with my kids in there. And you give them misdemeanors. Every bullet in the fucking, fucking, fucking chamber. You know what that was? Seven years. You ever read Guam, uh, Cuomo's gun laws? Yeah, you read I'm right. But we're the Wild West up here because I love the AK and the AR just as much as you. Love the Guam Mountains to shoot them. Fucking bullshit. Everybody destroyed my life. Money, 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 money. You want my fucking money? Here, you want my money, asshole? I know you don't because you never felt the recession, you cocksucker. You get your check every fucking week. Every fucking week you never felt the recession, have you? Don't look at me like that. I'll tear your fucking heart out. Fucking call you motherfuckers up. Ask you to fucking help. Ask you to help. I get warned child support calling me up today on a fucking Christmas Eve telling me I got a warrant for my arrest. The lady came in to make a special case. Were they open today over there? I don't know. I know you don't know. Do you? I know. Pretty sure. I ask for help. I go to counselor. I go to a counselor. He tells me he needs 150 fucking money. Money, 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 money. I call my lawyer up. I ask for fucking help. Money, 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 money. I feel like I'm a cigarette and I bought it on the fucking ground lost every fucking thing. Two court orders, I stay away, I stay away, I stay away. Bacchus goes over there, don't even know the bra for six months, pounds the fuck at her, shoots the fucking house up, gets all fucking fucking misdemeanors. Right? It's fucking ridiculous. Fucking bra bought me like a cigarette, haven't seen my kids in months, pay 250 a fucking week. I don't know what to fucking do. What do you want from me? I can't even sleep anymore. I haven't eaten in two fucking days. I just fucking feel like I'm tripping right now. It's fucking bullshit. I know this is the wild west though. You gotta admit it. You gotta admit it. When a man can go in a house with an unregistered fucking handgun from my kid's home and shoot holes through the ceiling, is there a fucking problem? Three, three apartment buildings, too. He should have felonies across the board, you cocksucker. In fucking Albany, he would have never got out of jail. And them boys would have been suspended without pay. I don't know how to say it a hundred times. I went to lawyers, fucking doctors, shrinks, every fucking thing. Every fucking thing. Stay away. I sit home every fucking day. I don't do nothing. I get a call today. There was a warrant put out today. On Christmas Eve for missing two child support payments, I want you to back my story. That bitch Barb over there, you know that fat fucking cunt? Go ask her about me, though. Didn't do nothing wrong. I sit the fuck home, watch TV. I can't even focus on the fucking TV. Divorce, everything, lost. Everything. Now the man moves in my fucking house, takes everything I fucking own. Get two court orders against you, can't even see your fucking kids. I, I, I don't know anymore. I can't fucking take it. Love my little girls. I wanted to see my little babies on Christmas. Can't even fucking do that because of a fucking pathetic court order. But hold on, here's the kicker. I got joint custody and visitation. Supposed to get them half the summer, half the holidays. Don't even get a call. Bought them two fucking iPhones. The mother takes it on the bottom of the stairs and breaks it. Can't live my life. It's every fucking minute. I can't even fucking, 
I can't even run my fucking business. It's like my life's been fucking shoved up my ass, and then they just keep asking me for my money. Money, 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 you white cocksuckers. I, I don't even get it. You never felt the recession was going on for six years. Do you realize that? Six fucking years because I'm in my own business. Six years ago it started. I was making 150 fucking thousand. Now I ain't making fucking shit. I still got to pay that 250. I missed two child fucking support payments. The fucking cunt calls my lawyer today saying they put out a fresh warrant for my arrest today on Christmas Eve. On Christmas Eve. What do you think of that? How do you know it's true? Because my lawyer called me up and told me it was a warrant out for my arrest. I didn't know if they're working. What has she got a hard on for me? Her name's Barb, support collection unit. Paul Dwyer's my lawyer. Call him up and tell ask him if I'm lying to you. On Christmas fucking Eve. I'm back two payments. I'm a fucking tree service. There's a foot of fucking snow that just come off the ground. The fucking bitch called me all weekend. I went to this kid police station this weekend to try to have her arrested, to stop harassing me. Both innocent reports, both of the incident reports are in this team of cops' hands. I can't win. It's overtaking my life. Every fucking minute of my life, it's all I think about. It's fucking cops. She keeps threatening me. I'm getting arrested. Every fucking day. Can you live like that? I don't think he can. It's every fucking day. You want some of my money? You need my money? You stand there. You want my money? Here. A thousand a day to me. Take it. Take it. Got a hundred thousand equipment sitting in the yard home. Fucking thirty some thousand dollar motorcycle, the Z28 out there. You want them? Drive away. Dude. I don't need nothing like that. I know, but you know what you need? Just really set yourself free because the reality is you fucked me. You fucked my children. When you rigged that cocksucker's fucking charges, you really phony motherfuckers. You know, Governor, I understand you don't like the gun laws. I kind of didn't like them either. But I don't go over to the lady's house and fucking shoot the fucking thing up with a stranger's kids there. And they get my charges rigged. They were rigged. I don't know that incident. So. Fuck off, you don't know it. No, I don't. I work I'm the, with the state police. I'm not with the, the sheriff. The state police? Yeah. Well, you know what they did? The two Bacchus brothers, his brothers went over to my fucking wife's house. You know what he did? Shot the house up with a loaded gun. It's three apartments in there. And his charges are rigged right here in Warren County by the Warren's troopers because his brothers are sheriffs. Every fucking bullet in the fucking fucking chamber was a felony. Unregistered fucking 22 caliber gun just lodged in the house. He's down all, but he still won't be out of fucking jail. These coward punk motherfuckers. I sit home all day. Everything's been taken from me in the last three years of my divorce. Every fucking fucking thing. So all they want is my fucking money. Money, 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 money. Get a call from the lawyer today on Christmas Eve. I'm getting violated for two payments. They wanted to know my address. You get that, man? I ain't out of my fucking house anymore. It's like I'm going to get arrested. Everything is an arrest. Every fucking thing. I haven't seen my kids in months. It all extended down to that motherfucker. He put her up to putting two court orders against me. I couldn't even call the fucking house. Just want to see my little baby girls. I can't even fucking see them. I never see them. I don't even know what they look like. I can't go to the school. I can't do nothing. I can't do nothing. I haven't eaten in two fucking days. 
I don't collect welfare. I don't ask nobody for fucking nothing. Because I got Irish pride. Get what I'm saying? I work every fucking day. Tell everybody, leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone. I don't want to be bugged any fucking more. I moved the fuck out of my house and got a, a fucking $600 crack at apartment just to be left alone in the city of fucking Schenectady. And the fucking thing is, I still get called on Christmas Eve by the attorney, family court, all of it, over fucking child support. It's been a foot of snow on the ground for two fucking weeks. I can't fucking work. What am I supposed to do? I got a call. We're in the black zone now. You get no calls for fucking six weeks. You know what I'm saying? As a man, how do you feel when you don't see your children? You work fucking 15 fucking years to give them every fucking thing. Nike, Abercrombie, American fucking Eagle. And because a cunt wants to suck another dick because she's a full-blown alcoholic, I don't know what to fucking say. I'm fucking feel like I'm fucking crazy. I just can't even fucking deal with people go out of my fucking house anymore. It's all about my fucking money. Money, 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 money. The root to all fucking motherfuckers, mankind's evils. But to just really, even the lawyer in the, in the child support unit to do that on Christmas Eve, calling me to fuck up and tell me I'm going to jail. Ain't it bad enough I haven't seen my kids, I'm by myself on Christmas, I don't even fucking bother anybody. This fucking cunt over there, you don't understand, that bitch, she fucked everybody's lights up today by wanting to play fucking games. I never fucking bother anybody on side. I have a heart of fucking gold. My sister, my brother, I gave them all my fucking money all the fucking time. I don't even talk to them anymore. I don't see my kids no more. I don't bother any fucking buddy on this fucking nigger fucking planet. I am so fucked up in the head, I, I can't even focus on work no more, nothing. I go to Supreme Court, the fucking cunt comes in in a fucking tank top, just trying to push my buttons. Punch my buttons, punch my buttons. Two court orders. She calls all weekend. I go to the Indiana police station. I try to have her arrested. I can't have her arrested. What am I, a fucking black man on this planet? I can't have somebody arrested? I don't know. I know. I know. If you had children and a man went and your wife divorced, you were not even divorced, but if you're, you're going through shit, I can't even think straight. If a man went over to where your kid's fucking house was and took a loaded handgun and shot it up, what would you do? I wouldn't be very happy. No, you would have took the fucking gun and went right after him. You guys are pit bulls. I ain't kidding you, huh? Especially if you're a trooper, you worked your whole life to get where you were. Did your kids mean anything to you? Everything. Me too. Every fucking thing. You just answered your own question. Every fucking thing. I pay 250 a week in fucking child support. I've seen my kids in eight months because of two fucking court orders. That a back his brother put, a, get put in there. I pay twice as much as that every two weeks. I know, so you must be making over 100000 a year, my brother. What are you, divorce and you got fucking uh, payments? Yeah. But the thing is, they went off a verbal testimony for, for my tax statement because I, of course, filed lower. I'm self-employed. No, I can't file lower. My stuff's right on the internet. I know, so you, you're fucked. It comes right out of the computer. I, you ain't even got to tell 20, me. 2100 a month. How the fuck can you even do it? Paycheck to paycheck, brother. Dude, I'm in the same boat, but when you got to go out and hunt for your work every day, it's totally different. At least you got job security. You can fucking, you got your paycheck. You know you just got to wake up no matter what situation you're in and just show up for your job. I have a friend that looks just like you. He's fucking Irish. You're looking guy, right? You cocksucker. <laughs> You're fucking funny. Ain't you? But you
you know how fucked up my mind is? I can't even think anymore. I haven't seen him since last summer, and I can't even remember his name. He's a sheriff. He lives right in Lake Luzerne. He used to go out fishing with us, dude. He showed me this water hole in fucking 25. I can't even remember. It was some brook. Well, I'll tell you what. You go there at April, the trout were like fucking that. Gorgeous. off nobody. It's my Irish pride. I, I, I'd rather starve to death. I've been drinking coffee. I'm always jittered the fuck out. I sit home. I watch TV. I don't even know what the fuck I'm watching. <coughs> everything, the broad took everything from me in the divorce and then all my assets and all my shit. Another man stopped in. I, get, I had to give mine the house and the other guy moved in, so I don't know. I had, to, I had, to, I had to build a new one. Yeah, but I don't have the money and the resources because she took every fucking thing. I finally, I went from living into a two hundred fifty thousand dollars house, moved up fucking here, and I'm whittled down. I'm into a six hundred dollar a month apartment because I'm paying for her to live and my beautiful children. Just let me see my children. That's all I want to do is see my children. Support collection, you called my lawyer today, Christmas Eve, and said I missed two payments. If you want to know my new address to put a warrant out for my arrest. I pissed the lady off at the support collection unit because I got an Irish mouth. I fucking ran my mouth to her. I don't even see my fucking kids. They, I went in front of the judge six weeks later. She tacked on $100 and suspended my license. It was two different judges. I've been fucked all the way, brother. And then I had two court orders. The bitches called me all weekend on my phone. I went to the New Zealand police, filed two incident reports. They wouldn't arrest her. She keeps putting a cigarette out on me, and I, I can't do nothing about it, man. You know what I'm saying? I do. And then I find out today my sister, she went to the trial after the back his brother shot the house up and went backwards. His charges went to family court to a trial before they even went to trial here. Proved him guilty and he fired the gun in the house, my lawyer did, in family court. Next thing I know, Saratoga had a special prosecution team that was stepping in and taking the case over. I never heard anything again. Get what I'm saying? This dude's brothers are two sheriffs here to shot my kid's house up with a loaded handgun illegally registered. There was no registration on the gun. You know Cuomo, he's fucking, all his fucking, I'm so sick of, that's all I live for, it's all I talk about is this shit every fucking day. I'm out of my fucking mind, I can't even work my fucking job anymore. It was it, I haven't paid child support in two weeks, they want to put me in jail, everybody wants to put me in jail, and I said, oh, I'm gonna do nothing. My life's been ruined. God bless you. How the fuck you ever make it out of it? When the fucking... How do you do it? Did you stay alone for years? I go on Match.com. I can't even have a conversation with a bro because my head's all fucked up. You know what I'm saying? I can't go out to bars because I'll knock somebody's fucking teeth in. I love my children. I haven't seen them. My one daughter, it just was all a ticking time bomb this weekend. From the child support to my sister saying she's seeing my kids and dealing with my ex-wife and they're coming down there. I work my ass off for everything I have in my life. My house is paid for in cash. Everything's paid off. My whole tree service, everything. I lost every fucking thing. Every way tell me, go get a new woman, go get a new woman. How can you get a new woman when every fucking day, three years later, $20,000 and I'm not done with this shit. And a fucking lawyer tell me, you need more money, you need more money, 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 money. Money, you know what I'm saying? I do. Yeah, but you're like,
like a different situation, man. It's true. Different but the same. No, you're going court. You're a fucking New York State trooper. You're gonna get what you want in court. To me, I look. I I was one of them fucking statistic Irish guys that have to fuck one. So they fucked me in the ass. Do you think that's right though? That this cunt ain't even really. I bet you she wasn't even working today. Call my lawyer up and said she's putting a warrant out for my arrest. I want you to go on a computer right now so you can see I'm telling you the truth. Everything I'm fucking telling you. Christmas fucking Eve. I'm sitting home with no fucking food, no fucking nothing, and she's telling me she's put me in jail. Can't even see my fucking kids. And all it sense over, I married a fucking stripper. That's a manipulator and plays man. This other dude, the back his brother, six months he's over there, beat her up, put her in the fucking emergency room, and fired the gun through the house. He went there to kill her. My kids were in the other room, though. That's where it don't jive with me. You get what I'm saying? Can you just take me to a jail cell, man? I haven't slept in three fucking days. I just, I'm done. I think we got to do some other processing first. Yeah, we're just waiting for a couple things. He asked me if I want to call my lawyer. Every time I call the cocksucker, money, 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 money. It's all about your fucking money. I ain't got no more left. You took every fucking thing from me, man. You know what I'm saying? I go out to meet somebody, I start talking about my divorce and how I'm getting fucked over. Nobody even wants to hear it. I'm bottled up in a one-room apartment. I don't have no life anymore. Used to be the best guy in the world to pick a fucking pussy up anywhere. My whole fucking life, it's just been flushed down a fucking toilet in the last three years. When's enough so fucking enough? Put me in the fucking jail cell and lock the fucking key where I don't give a fuck anymore. I'm sick of it. Brother, I haven't eaten too fucking, probably going on, I don't even eat anymore. I drink coffee and I'm all fucking tweaked the fuck out from drinking a fucking coffee all the fucking time. Let me check out something. You allergic to anything? No. All right. Here a minute. They have bags. fucking whole life for every fucking thing I got. I work, work, work. That's all the fuck I do. I fucked up. I married a fucking full-blown alcoholic and a stripper. I tried to do right. Never leave me alone. Gave her what she wanted. Gave her every fucking thing. And still come leave me alone. Calls me all the fucking time. Threatening me. Threatening, threatening, threatening. I can't even live my fucking life. I couldn't even go out of my fucking house. It's every fucking day.
I go, price a fucking job. I uh, start thinking about my wife and my fucking kids. I can't even talk to people. By the time I'm leaving, they think I'm fucking fucking crazy. Like, I don't even know what the fuck I'm doing. I've done it my whole life. I cut trees. That's what I do. I have four tree services in my family. I cut, I cut, I cut. I don't, I don't, I, I, I don't fucking know. It don't matter. They just want your money. I can't even enjoy myself. There's no more enjoyment. This fucking bitch took everything from me. Every fucking thing. It's always, it's every fucking thing. 250 a fucking week. She's living like a fucking king. I, I, I can't even fucking live. That's all I do. But they want you to work and pay. If you don't, you go to jail. Go to jail. What's the difference? And go to fucking jail. Put me away. I don't give a fuck anymore. I couldn't take it. I can't stand it. I don't know what to fucking do anymore, man. It's just fucking, it's just like when you fucking kick the fucking... A man, what are you supposed to do? What is he supposed to sit there and fucking take it year in and year out and pay all his fucking money? And this cocksucking cheese ball fucking lawyer calls me up today. The support collection, you called them today. It's a fucking hour. They said I'm going to jail or putting a warrant out. I want to know my address. I don't even go the fuck out. I just want to sit home and not be bothered. So I like the mountains, man. I, I like to take off. I like to go in the mountains. I go 10 or 20 miles deep. I look at the mountain caps and I know how to get back out. But if you follow a stream, any way you look at it, you follow the stream down, it's going to take you back to civilization. It's going to take you back to civilization. But well, fuck civilization. That's why you go in the mountains. You don't want to come back out. You know what I'm saying? The smell, the smell of the pine in the morning. You know what I'm saying? You know how they used to talk about Vietnam and smell the napalm in the air? Well, it ain't like that. And fuck in the mountains, you smell the pines, man. And the cleanliness. And the untouched ground from the white fascist pig. The white fascist pig. The whole fucking court system's corrupt in America. Fucking guy can go into your fucking kid's house and shoot it up and walk away with misdemeanors. And the gun, it wasn't even a rifle, it was a fucking pistol. An unregistered fucking handgun and he got misdemeanors? Is there something wrong with that motherfucking shit or what? I know you know that, but you sit here because you're working right in the fucking hornet's nest, kid. You should transfer out of this motherfucker. You should be taking the trooper test because they're the only real cops on this fucking place. They give you a fair shake and they fucking tell you just how it is. I got one right here. I haven't slept in days. I just can't even fucking do it anymore. I'm a walking fucking zombie. Just, hey. There's so much fucking stress and overload from three years of divorces and courts and then fucking on a Christmas fucking Eve I can't even get a fucking break. Then my fucking sister, man. Wanted to hang that bitch in fucking family court and then she tells me today I've been hanging out with her fucking seeing your kids behind your back. Nobody can call me up, the kids come down, I can't go over and see my kids. I got joint custody and full visitation.
Felt like I was in a jail cell in my own place. That's all I did as I sit home. I never fucking went out. My life is ruined. I asked for fucking help 2,000 times. I just want your fucking money, 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 grab motherfuckers. I'm afraid to go out. I can't even have a conversation with somebody because this is all I talk about. It's like I'm a broken fucking record. People don't even want to talk to me anymore because all they talk about is my divorce and how I'm fucked over. And I just want to see my fucking kids, my kids. Then my daughters, they're raising themselves. 15 and 16, they're 14 months of fucking part. They're never fucking home. The ones found school, staying at a boyfriend's fucking house. Getting fucked at 16. I don't know, maybe, is that the age that your kids go fucking? Seriously. But this bitch is so fucking drunk and she was a stripper. She was pregnant at 16 and had a kid at 16, my, my wife. I should have seen the whole fucking thing. I didn't see the big picture. You know when you fall in love when you first meet him? I was a kid back then. I think I was 28 when I met her. I, I, I wasn't really know what I was doing in my life though. I called the police up this weekend. I asked them for fucking help, man. Make an instant report and say there's nothing that they can do. She's calling me every fucking time. The proof is right there. You made two incident reports. Can't you arrest her for at least a harassment and tell her to stop calling me? They didn't do it. Take it up in family court. Family court. Family court. Fuck family court. Dude, can you just put me in jail cell on a piece of steel so I can go to bed? I'm cold, I'm breaking down, I'm, I just, I'm freezing. As soon as I know what's going star. on. <clears throat> just a cog in the wheel. I got a piss. I piss in the garbage can right here. No, we can take you a bath. I don't even want to get up. I, I, I'll just piss my pants. Don't even fucking. I'm good. <laughs> don't do that. We got someone's gonna have to come clean that up. I don't give a fuck. I'm not playing with a full deck. I don't even know what the fuck I'm doing. I'm fucking crazy. The fucking even the counselor said it. My lawyer said it. Everybody said it. I lost everything I got. I went to work every fucking day. I couldn't even deal with it. I worked every fucking day to give a woman and kids every fucking thing. I don't need your money anymore. You're boring. I remember everything this fucking bitch is telling me like it's fucking yesterday. I haven't seen her in fucking years. But it's always about this. Threaten your freedom. Your freedom, your freedom. You're nothing. Just go to work. If you keep paying, you can have your freedom. If you don't pay, you go to jail. Everything is jail. Jail, jail, fucking jail. Then I watch a guy go into the apartment, shoot the fucking place up, and it gets all misdemeanors. Oh my god. Ain't that funny?
I am so fucking stressed out, I'm shaking and I'm weak, I, I, I never eat anymore. I lost 35 to 40 fucking pounds of all muscle. Never did a steroid in my life, man. All you cops are on roids. You do roids, my friend? No way. Absolutely not. The best thing is they kill you and they fuck your whole system up. Look, you're gonna be cool with me? Absolutely. I think you take offense. This, this ain't your war, brother. Okay, get that back on. Where's your wrist going? I don't look like it's doing too good. Dude, I could have went in the mountains. I don't run from yeah. my fucking shit. Here you are. Yeah, I love the mountains, man. Huh? Yeah, you're more hot than My fishing. father raised me here, though, you know what I'm saying? That one you gotta try fishing if you like mountains. I love trout fishing, I just don't get to do it a lot, you know? And I'll tell you what. It's a peace of mind. It's just like when you're in the mountains of Larkin Hunt, you know? Right this way. <clears throat> I did a little pond fishing a couple years ago. And I did like, yeah, but pond fishing. Road trout? Yeah, it's pretty good. You know, when your kids, they mean everything to you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, can you put that one in the thing and take that one off? Yes. I am fucking hurting. Three things are going to put me over here today. All I want to do is see my fucking children. Chew it, yeah, chew it up pretty good there. So you've done pond fishing, huh? Yeah. And you didn't really like it because it's boring, right? Well, I mean, it's relaxing, I mean, but 
you got to go up on the mountains and go down the real mountain streams that are okay. flowing and you hear nothing because, you know, you're like, you're hiking in a way. You're going up rock face, mm -hmm. seeing animals. I don't feel good, man. You know when fucking somebody just takes your freedom from me and you can't live no more? I begged that bitch to leave me the fuck alone. And I did, I stayed away for fucking going on three years now. But she just couldn't leave it alone. You know what she was trying to do? Snap me so she could have everything. Sell all my assets, had the house, all of it. I'm in Supreme Court. I paid for everything. She's had to down for a fucking trial. She don't pay for none. Well, that's going to cost me another five or ten grand. The lawyer really owned my house. Now, I couldn't even do nothing. I bought a HUD repo, you know what I'm saying, cash. I ripped the whole fucking thing out. I was on the upswing of building it. Next thing I know is everything fell apart in our life. So when her daughter passed away, she went into a bottle. She couldn't cope with it. It's like, I tell this story two million fucking times to fucking people. Nobody listened. Nobody cared about me. I'm a man. I'm supposed to be strong. I'm supposed to take it. The guy telling me he went through a divorce. I'm supposed to be strong. I'm supposed to take it. Well, what are you supposed to do when you lost your license? You can't even go out to make no money, and they want to put you in jail. What the fuck's the difference anyway? They got what they wanted. They put me in jail. I don't care anymore, man. Here's your license, Cliff. I don't even need that fucking thing. Why would I need it? Huh? Said so hold on to it, okay? This was suspended by the Warren County. Give that to Bard next door. Pardon me? You just leave it with your car. Give it to that dingbat Bard next door. The one from Warren County Child Protective Service. Your, you uh, your other stuff out. That's your license. Just yeah, but these are all business cards. I'll never be cutting a tree again in my life. Well, you might as well hold on to them and then we'll get them after, okay? Please, thank you. You're welcome. You know what? I bagged that woman to fucking go to cows and I love to her. I love my children. I went to work every day. Next thing I know, I'm commuting you know, over 200 miles a day. And this fucking broadsheets. Next thing I know, there's a court order and I'm thrown out. It was just like a shock. I still never got over the shock. I, I just like, I can't even... You know what I'm saying? When you work your whole life, your kids and every fucking thing. Not to deal with. I tried to take the whole world on myself because that's the way I am. I was tried. I fucking, I went to counseling. I did, I did it all, and the guy kept asking me for money too. I need 150. I have no insurance. Well, I just my wife worked for St. Peter. She took my medical benefits and got rid of them. I have nothing. I got fucking cancer. I gotta have this one taken off here. I had cancer surgery. Twenty thousand dollars for an outpatient surgery. You can't afford it. Medical is just like car insurance. Now he wants to fuck, and the nigger wants to have fucking everybody to have health insurance? How are you supposed to afford it? What are you supposed to do? You can't pay for it. I am so fucked up in the head, I don't even know what to say anymore. I went and I got another apartment I hit from society. I don't want to be around people no more in my life. I feel terrible. I just asked the cunt, leave me the fuck alone, let me see my kids. You want to suck dick, go suck fucking dick. 
But it's when she couldn't get the car. She calls me up at fucking two in the morning. Where's your man? I don't know what to fucking tell you. I'm sleeping. It's every fucking day of my life. <clears throat> you didn't want me. I'm boring. You don't need my money. But why can't you leave me the fuck alone? Just please leave me the fuck alone. I snapped today. I love my fucking kids. I don't know what to fucking say. I just wanted to hold them. I wanted to see them. I wanted to see them smile. I couldn't take it no more. I just wanted to see my baby girls. You don't get it. With the five-year court order, I call the house. She can have me arrested. The lawyer told me, you can't do nothing. You can't go up there. You can't call. You can't go around her. Today was like a fucking... Just everything that fucking happened today, finding out the truth to my sister that she caught my fucking back. The fucking lawyer calling me up saying the lady just called her putting a warrant out for your arrest on Christmas Eve. I thought they didn't even work over there today. I lost everything I had nothing to live for anymore. I didn't want to go to work anymore. Every day I was losing every fucking thing. My father, when I was a kid, I, I brought myself up. I thought I did the right thing. My mother, I helped her with everything all her fucking life. She told me five years ago, get rid of this woman. And I didn't listen to her. I went back, but I had two, two kids. How can you disabandon your kids? You know what I'm saying? I can't do it. What a fucking asshole you are. But I just couldn't live my life. I, I just, I, I couldn't live my life anymore. This broad just fucking, she, she, she got everything. I was losing everything and she just couldn't leave me the fuck alone. 
I went to the police station. I played the messages at Niskiuna. They filed two parking incident reports and they won't go arrest her just for harassment. They called her up on several occasions and they told her to call. She would never answer the phone. So they never got through with her, to her. You get what I'm saying? And it was just the two incident reports, but there was another one a couple of weeks back. I just didn't want to be bothered anymore. Leave me the fuck alone. I gave you what the fuck you wanted. I feel like I'm in a bad dream. But you know, after I finally do sleep a couple hours and I wake up tomorrow, I ruin my fucking life, I ruin my kids' life, I fucking ruin everybody's fucking lives. But this bitch had already did it, she's already, she just was running drunk all over the fucking place. shoot bows, man. You like bows? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I prefer to hunt with bows. Absolutely. It's a true sportsman. But they're making bows so advanced now, it ain't like the old school, you know? I watched this movie the other night, De Niro and fucking uh, Travolta. It was called The, the Killing Something. Did yep. you see it, brother? I haven't seen it. I got it. Oh, Come fucking on. awesome. You should watch it. It starts off in uh, one of them foreign countries, and he was special services. And Travolta, he was like, he was a Russian with one of them things or something on it, like The Killing Squad. It was badass. You gotta watch it. I can't even remember. I'm so fucked up in the head. <clears throat> but at the end, it was the death squad, all the special lot forces, there was ten of them, they were over there, and there was genocide going on. They got the fucking killers, the scorpion guys, they were like from Kosovo, or I don't even know them fucking countries. They lined them all up, special forces going down the line, boom, each guy, because when you're in a unit like that, you're special forces, you got each other's back, you know the fucking deal. So each man had, there was ten of them and ten special forces, they went down the line killing them. De Niro's the last one in line. He hesitated and he waited. Travolta looked at him and he finally shot him because they were scumbags. They were like Hitler, you know what I'm saying? So anyways, he goes home, he gets out. It's like 15, 18 years later, but he didn't know Travolta. He got crippled, but he learned how to walk and do everything again. And he fucking goes over to America. He goes, I'm going hunting, my friend. Did an awesome accident. They're the two greatest actors on TV. Yeah, they're good. That's for sure. I know you would like that movie. Yeah, I got to watch it. Dude, what's going on? What, what, what is going on, man? I've been here with you.
Don't think about me. I don't know how to shut my mouth. I don't like people telling me what to do in these everything in these fucking courts and everything. I ask, I ask, I beg for help, I pay thousands of fucking dollars, I get nowhere. This bitch walked all over me now, I just don't even know what to fucking say. Stayed away, did everything the court order said today. I, they did. Everybody rattled my cage on Christmas Eve. I wasn't even doing nothing. I started cooking a fucking, I don't know what the fuck I was cooking. A fucking piece of toast or something. Dried up blue mold. I haven't eaten days. I, I've been drinking coffee, man. I'm always fucking. Coffee's the worst fucking shit for you, you know. so fucking tough. I have a 20 year old daughter. I'm a grandfather. Then I find out her mother tried to commit suicide. So 
swallow the whole bottle of fucking pills over a fucking man. My father passed away when I was so young. Kind of brought ourselves up as kids. I made all the wrong decisions in life. Why I was listening though. There's no way for a man to live when he gives you every fucking goes to work every fucking day, every fucking fucking day. Women fucking are we told man times times evil. She takes my fucking kids out of my fucking life. Goes when another cop tells me to keep fucking paying, 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 paying. And I'm taking your house and taking every fucking thing you own. I work for my motorcycle, she tells me she's fucking owns half of it. Never paid a fucking dime for it. What did she put the spice on? What the fucking cherries? Fucking bro, I make 300,000 a fucking week. I didn't know what to do anymore. Every fucking day I couldn't go out of my fucking apartment. I just fucking lost my fucking mind. I lost my fucking mind. I don't even know what to fucking do. I fuck my babies too now. My children, I, oh my god, my little fucking girls. What the fuck have I fucking done? I don't even know what. I fucking snapped today, man. I fucking snapped, man. From the lawyer to my sister to that fucking cunt at the support collection unit and she's the one who did it all too. That dirty fucking cunt. If I could ever get her in my hands, I'd cut her to fuck up her fucking kids. i cut them in half while she fucking wants right now. I can't even get over it. I don't even know, man. She fucking on Christmas Eve can't leave me to fuck alone. You know why? Because yesterday I talked to her on the phone and I told her I was going to sue her. What she did was illegal to me. She must have had a fucking heart on. She came in the fucking today to put a warrant out for my arrest. I didn't even know the lawyers or anybody were working on Christmas fucking Eve. This lawyer of mine too, this motherfucker, money, 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 money is charging me 250 an hour. Three fucking years into it, I'm at 20 fucking thousand. I'm in such a... I can never even start my fucking life over. My life was fucked. I'm doomed. I threw a fucking towel and man, I can't even take this fucking shit no more. Dude, will you put a bullet in my head, please? What do you want me to do? Please. God, take me tonight. Give me a heart attack, any fucking thing. Please take me off this fucking planet. The Hells Angels, bunch of fucking faggots. You hear me? Seriously. They're the biggest punks going. They got no balls. It's all politics now. Ever since the Rico fucking law. I got in a fight with an old timer because they, it's a power struggle. Out with the old and in with the new. But the old timers, they don't want to relinquish their fucking power. But they want to call all the shots and call the orders.
you have more of a chance to be shot by a nigger or a speck than you do a hell's angel. You get what I'm saying? They lost everything since the 70s. I'm a country boy, and I got all this city in me now, and nastiness and fucking grime. I lost every fucking thing, I don't even know how to cope. I always look down on people because I made money and I had a beautiful house and a beautiful family. Now I'm just a fucking scumbag. I died inside. There's nothing. And now all I have is my kids to live for, and I couldn't even fucking see them. How can women be so rotten and fucking ruthless? You married, bro? Huh? Yeah. How long you been married? How's it going? Excellent. I'm, I'm glad to hear that. Because women today, there's three, sta there's three stages in life. You got your teenage love, your mid middle crisis where you get everything done. And then when they raise their kids, they want to leave. Look at my face and always remember that. Don't think you'll be married your whole life. I don't give a fuck how good you are. I'm giving you cold hard facts, bro. And it ain't what we want. When your woman goes out anywhere to a store or anything, there's always a cock that hits on her. But I really, I married the devil. A stripper. A manipulator of fucking men. And I was manipulated and, and, and fucking stepped on. I miss, I miss people, I miss talking to people. I sit in my apartment, I do nothing all day. And I just hide. Every day, one for your rest, one for your rest. How the fuck can you live your life the way I live my life? Dude. What are we waiting for? I'm waiting for my next cue. Listen. Order. What's going on? I have no idea. You have as much idea as what's going on as you can do right now.
trying to take everything I got and I worked for. I, I got to the point I, I couldn't even fucking go out society and have a conversation. My whole world is my family. I'm 47 and it's, it, you know what I'm saying? I don't know what to tell you, man. I hope you don't ever have to go through a fucking divorce, bro. I hope not, but never know. No, it's because it's the way this 2013, it's the way things are now. Women don't want to be, they want to have several men in their life. And they like the olden days when our parents are fucking, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. My parents, they used to eat, like, <laughs> scrambled eggs and high cholesterol shit their whole life, smoked two packs of cigarettes a day. I never smoked cigarettes, I smoked a little weed, I won't kid you not. But this broad, when I first met her, lost her kids to CPS. She left them out in the parking lot in the fucking store like a fucking retard. I had to truck drive for fucking a straight year showing full-time employment for her. I did so much for this broad, it ain't even funny. a thousand people I always talked about it talk about it talk about it what was I supposed to do fucking stay bottled up my whole life and fucking just keep paying and paying and paying and not seeing my fucking kids it's like everybody nobody leave me the fuck alone just leave me the fuck alone here this broad she had several fucking guys and kept calling me in the middle of the night. Why do you got a fucking... I don't know, man. She was fucking crazy, you wanna fucking know? And she made me crazy. You know how strippers are? <coughs> <coughs> Everything is a fucking game. My life wasn't a fucking game. I worked my whole life, 47 fucking years. You're in your late 30s, but just imagine. I don't want that shit to happen to that dude. When he told me that shit, I don't even believe him. I think he's bullshitting me. I want to crawl up in a ball. I, I, I don't want to fucking... I don't even care about life anymore. I, just, I don't care. You, I should have fucking let you guys... I should have fucking checked right out. I don't even know what to say, man. That bitch, I got her to quit stripping, right? And she hooked up with the job at St. Peter's. In seven years, she quit drinking. We had the kids, we amassed a lot. We had the business, the house. I had an in-ground pool, detached garage. And then shit just blew out there. She wanted to fuck my cousin on me. I said, you know, I, I had kids, man. I don't know what the fuck. I said, let's sell a house and move up north. That's where I always wanted to be. live. We were camping here every year. I fucking... I'd run a cabin, too, once I started making good money. You know, it wasn't always that I made good money, you know? Right. But I fucking... Moved the fuck up here. And we bought the HUD house. We were renting another house and remodeling it. And then our fucking daughter passed away. I tried to be the man and hold everything the fuck together. I begged her to go to fucking counseling, but she wouldn't go to fucking counseling. And then, like the commute, I was commuting, walking a couple hours a day, go back down to San and back to work. So I was going all fucking day. She told me I was boring and don't need your money anymore. All the shit is going through my head, and it, it's been going through my head for two fucking years. I didn't even know how to deal with this. I went to a counselor. He basically, I didn't have the fucking money, you know what I'm saying? I couldn't get medical benefits. He 
You need an operation. Another one. And I'm gonna tell you the truth. This is how fucked up it is when she left me. The first time I got the cancer bump on my leg and it just started growing because I was always stressed out. I'm always stressed the fuck out. It's all about money and bills. Now I got this other lump on the mound. The thing is getting as big as the other one. I can't even afford to get it cut off. Don't know if it's benign. The other one wasn't as spread and tight, so I did everything, got rid of it. I don't fucking know. Come down to Murdo. I'm so emotionally exhausted over the divorce and all the fucking shit that happened. Third Christmas. I waited all day, my kids I didn't hear one word from. The lawyer calls up with this violation bullshit. And I fucking, I, I snap, man. I don't even know what to fucking say about it. I don't remember, I blacked the fuck out. I, I just, I felt like I'm doing acid, man. I haven't eaten in days. fucking bitch just kept kicking me in the teeth. It was like she was butting me out with a fucking cigarette. Everything I worked for in this other motherfucker. You see what I went through? For a man to go into somebody's house in six months and shoot the house up with a fucking gun and beat the woman up into a pulp and put her in an emergency room. I sit here and blame myself, but really, is it, is it, who is it? You know what I'm saying? It wasn't I've seen one of my daughters eight months ago. When the, the, the divorce first started, I had full custody of one kid, and she had one kid. And my daughter was going in this unit. She couldn't handle it. She couldn't do the schoolwork compared to these schools up there. I don't mean to be a ball buster. Sure. But they ain't even in the fucking league. You know what I'm saying? Sure. The homework was twice as much. She calls me up from the fucking, uh, I got the iPhone, and I know the mother had something to do with it. The mother says, you ain't gonna be able to do that schoolwork. You need to get back to me, blah, blah, blah. She's like lying to him all the fucking time. Constantly. Right. <clears throat> and me, I'm so, too fucking stupid to see it. I just fucking thought that like, working all the time and supporting my children, giving them what they want, that that was the right thing to do. You know, when you don't buy something from them, you feel like shit. You, you, you just... It's just fucking ridiculous. I just wanted to hold my kids and kiss them to That's all I wanted to fucking do. I couldn't even fucking... And just to see. You know, the fucking broads living better than me and I work, I pay for every fucking thing and I just told her, leave me the fuck alone, please. And she couldn't leave me the fuck alone. It's like I, I in my town down in this and I work for all the cops, the schools, everything. I talked to that cop and he told me, Cliff, <laughs> you gotta go to family court, this and fucking that. I said, I just want an arrest for arrest. I can't fucking take it anymore, man. I can't live my fucking life. I can't live my fucking life. She always threatens me with the cops, too, in a court order. She's going to call the cops. She's going to call the cops. What do you want me to do? Sell everything I got, give me the fucking house, and live as a bum in the street or just go into jail. <coughs> you know what I'm saying? Even our fucking brother, he's a detective when he was in the U.S. Marines down in New York. After our kid died, he calls up one night. I fucking told him, listen, she's out of control. She's drinking all the fucking time. I can't do nothing about it. I asked her to go to counseling. He goes, listen, you fucking married her. You deal with it. Her own brother, U.S. Marine. Dude, she was very intelligent when she did. She snapped me. She fucking couldn't leave me alone. <coughs> I'm ready to go to my...
my jail cell. That's where they told me to take it, but I take it anyway. No one told me to take it. There's no difference in the way I was living. To go from having your own house and all your fucking shit down into a fucking one-room fucking apartment with Jakey bums. Because I couldn't afford it. A thousand and then the six hundred and fifty for my rent. That was sixteen hundred and fifty a fucking month. I was set up to fail. And there's not a fucking thing I can do it. Do it, you know. The bitch is the only one on that planet that could, that could punch my button to and make me irate, you know what I'm saying? Honestly, God. Every woman has that in life, too. They got a way to punch your fucking buttons. You've been married nine years, dude. Don't tell me you haven't got an argument and to fucking flip at times, you know what I'm saying? Well, everybody argues. Right. You can't deny that. I know. human nature. It is. And my brother once told me a couple of years ago back after this happened, you would never live with yourself your whole life. And you gave it a chance. But I look at him, he went through a divorce and he never had another woman again. Ten years fucking later, fifteen, probably fifteen or twenty now. He's out of his fucking mind. I'm so on the go in athletic, she took everything away from me. I didn't even go fishing this summer. I'm financially fucking ruined. I just don't even know what to fucking say. What am I supposed to keep paying? I watch her build my fucking dream with another man. Fuck all that. I don't even know what the fuck I told you guys tonight. I'm so fucking... I don't even know what the fuck I'm doing anymore. You know what, though? I can't run from my fucking problems, man. I face them head on. That's why I know them, man. The thing is, How can you have a relationship with your kids and there's another fucking man fucking your wife and, and living? He ain't got a job. He had nothing. He was a bum. Work. I'm working to support. You know what I'm saying, dude? I hear what you're saying. You know my sister too? She's got the Irish temper like me and she's the only one she screams at me and tries to put me in shock. We had an argument. I hadn't talked to her in a few months, but she's been by my side and she hated my fucking ex-wife. It was a trickle-down effect today, bro. It went from the lawyer calling about support collection unit and then to talking to my sister. And I'm looking at my whole life. I don't go out no more. I, I have no money. I haven't eaten. I'm just everything is just fucking, I couldn't take it no more. I'm already doing jail time. Don't you get it? My life's over with in my brain. I couldn't fucking take it no more. Why this time trying around like, every time she calls me, she's drunk. She's calling me from a fucking bar. Or fucking just, you know what I'm saying? Just to rub it in like a cigarette butt. She told my kid she's going to end up just like me. I'm boring and I don't even do nothing. Well, when you're building an empire for your fucking family, you know, you're in the middle of a mortgage. You're in the middle of every fucking thing. You know what Christmas costs you. A thousand a kid. Don't even get me going. Yep. 
but you know, everybody at this bar hang out with, they're all alcoholics, man. I'm sorry to fuck you night up. Hey, I'm here. Four months ago, she called me up, and it was the first time in two years she never, ever gave me an explanation. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was shipped out of my kids' lives, I paid all the way and fought all the way, and I just always wanted to ask her why. And she'd only call me up drunk. She never called me during the day, nine to five, when she was straight. That's because of the betrayal. You know what I'm saying? She had tons of skeletons in her closet. The sister, the, uh, cousin told me that she, the mother's brother raped the two sisters when they were kids and not, nothing ever happened. The mother is a piece of shit too, you know what I'm saying? This is my ID right here. A couple business cards and a fucking beat up driver's license that I don't even have. They told me to mail it in. That's my whole life. My life's been taken. Done. Put a fork in it. I'll never shave again, bro. Even like in the beginning of my first ex. You know, she fucked me up too, man. A whole military career. My, my cousin, you know, he wanted to go in the Navy, I wanted to go in the Marines. And he fucking, we were going in the body system, you know what I'm saying? I did everything, passed all the fucking tests, they wanted me to be a tanker. But I wasn't really into that, but I was doing what I had to do. Sure. And then fucking, the bitch said she was pregnant. I didn't know what to do, I can't. I didn't even know what to do with my life. I was at a crossroads at that point in my life, you know what I'm saying? And I, I fucked up. My cousin went in today. He's a firefighter, and he's a, a paid firefighter, too. So he, he does good, but he went through a divorce. He came and fucking... A nigger was in his bed fucking his wife, a black nigger. Dude, I can't believe he didn't put a bullet in him. Or just fucking mutilate him. So I blew that, I had the kid, I wound up staying with her seven years, and that fell apart. And I went to jail. And that was like a scared straight program though. I fucking hate jail, I, 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 I never, I don't even know what the fuck I'm doing man, I blacked the fuck out today. I told myself. I would never go to fucking jail again in my life, no matter what. I hung strong for fucking, I, I, I did everything right. I'm running around ragged, paying the 250 a week, paying the lawyer all the money, making all these fucking court dates. I never took no time for myself. And then when my kids got ripped out of my life, I couldn't fucking handle it. You know, when you go from raising your little girls in your hand all the way through, and then they're ripped out of your life. I mean, yeah, they were fucking, when the divorce happened, they were probably 13 and a half and 14, you know, the 14 months apart. I mean, another year, they could have, I could have bought them cars and they could have fucking went down and just seen me and did whatever they want. I felt like I lost them, though. The mother, she fucking brainwashed them, man. This fucking cunt did me so much fucking grind. Betrayed me.
I prayed to God all the time in my apartment by myself. He never heard me. He let me down, man. And then every fucking day, it'd be something. It'd be money, courts, money, fucking this. But where's my kids? Where's my fucking family? I had a, I lost every fucking thing. So it's just like, what's worse, a fucking crackhead on the side of the street? Look at the job you do. Any day, you could have a bullet put in your fucking head and not go home to your fucking family. Now granted, I cut trees, but the, my part of the job is I'm a professional farmer. I go up over houses, rope all the trees down on the road, you know what I'm saying? So it's the same thing with me. We go to work, all it takes is one wrong move, you cut a rope and you're falling, and you're done. My, my uncle broke his fucking back. Something changed in me though when I lost my children and my fucking first year I was all spitfire, I'll fuck her, I'm gonna get a new woman, I'm gonna fucking do my thing. But it's like I never with all the stress of the fucking court money, hey, you don't get it, this lawyer money all the fucking fucking time. It's like I never had money and he I kind of like blame him, he pushed it up too far down the road, three years, fuck that, I married a fucking stripper, she should have been divorced the first year, all there was was a fucking house, I mean, there was IRA, pension, retirement, shit like that, but, you know, really, I didn't even want her shit, you know what I'm saying, but she didn't want me to move back to Lake Luzerne, that was number one too, because she rented the place right across the fucking street. Dude, I'm a fucking coward. But yo, what the fuck is the man supposed to take what I fucking took every fucking fucking day? You don't want to be with me or fucking another man. I don't know what to fucking tell you. Why do you keep fucking calling me? You have a five-year court order. I told her at one time to drop the motherfucking court order, maybe we can talk. She never would drop the fucking thing. You know what I'm saying? The love became hatred. After you, you can have kids with somebody and I supported her other fucking three kids. The fucking fathers never paid a fucking dime. 